Welcome to Reviving Bull Bull's NBA career with the Miracle Wheel in NBA 2K22. Bit of a long title, but it gets straight to the point. Before we get into anything, be sure to like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. These videos take a lot of time to put together, record, edit it. Ed Edit it, edit, <laughs> etc. So, you know, show as much love as you can because it just inspires me to keep making more of these videos because it seems you guys like these a lot. So, we're going to keep punching them out. Now, if this is your first Miracle Wheel video from my channel, then let me go ahead and explain how it's going to go down. If you already know how this all works, then skip to when the video actually starts. You do what you got to do. So, here we are on 2K22 on the Orlando Magic where Bull Bull currently is playing. And I'm surprised he's not 21 years old, but since we're starting in the year 2021, the 2021 2022 season, he's 21 years old. But I honestly thought he was like 24 or 25. It feels like Bull Bull's just been, I guess, in the news and the media attention for so long. I thought he was going to be like 23 or 24. Like LaMelo, I guess, has been the media so long, but we've been kind of following his life since he's been in high school, even like middle school too. So I don't know, man. It feels like I've seen Bull Bull for so long. I thought he'd be older. But anyway, the main concept of this video and this series is to revive a bunch of players, NBA careers that may not have started off too hot, but we want to see them grow into the superstars we wanted them to be. Because I remember early days on the nuggets like in the preseason maybe even some of those playoff games like bull bull was like bringing the ball up doing like hezzy tweens and like pulling threes making great passes full court like he was looking really good but just never really panned out like some of us maybe thought he was going to i think a lot of us saw maybe at least a starting role for the guy but yeah he you know being really skinny like that he just doesn't really have like an nba body but he's got the moves and he can play basketball just he can't get himself minutes and a rotation on any nba team so far in his career but today is where we go ahead and fix all that i present to you the a miracle wheel and each thing on this miracle wheel is a different positive thing that can happen to Bull Bull. We potentially will be spinning this wheel once a year and that'll be at the beginning of every single season. And here is the challenge wheel. This is how we unlock the ability to do the miracle wheel. Half of these challenges are skill based, which means like I have an impact on what really happening and the other half are very random. I have little to no say in how it actually works out. If we complete the challenge at the beginning of the season, we spin the miracle wheel and whatever it lands on happens to Bull Bull and then, you know, we keep going every single season to the end of his career. For people who aren't new since the taco video, I added about 15 new challenges to the challenge wheel. And we also cleaned up the miracle wheel so that not as many duplicates happen. And also there was one I saw some comments about. You guys didn't like the RNG player import because it kind of takes away from his overall growth and just makes him an entirely different player. So I got rid of the RNG player imports. Now, if none of that made sense, trust me, it is not hard to follow along. So let's go ahead and get into reviving Bull Bulls NBA career with the miracle will hope you guys enjoy so here we are season number one and as it stands bull bull is a reserve he's not even getting any minutes for the orlando magic hopefully within a few years we can change that and it's gonna start off with this first challenge what are we gonna be doing to try to what do we gotta do get a kill in fortnite without dying i think i've been pretty good at this challenge lately this is not a new challenge if you if you're um, um new to the channel but um let's see how i'm not good at fortnite but we'll see how we do all right well we're landing um as you all know i have not been good at this game or semi applicable in this game since season two and that was like five years ago so you know if i get a kill it's gonna be pretty lucky did nobody land over here oh whoa 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 someone's trying to shoot at me oh sh chill who is trying to shoot at me okay i think we're good i hear footsteps oh i see you okay cool all right this is what you want to do bet got you oh i missed oh my god i missed bet now nah, let's go let's come on where you go Oh, you think you're tough. Damn. You're not peeking out. I left. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm out. Come on. Oh, I hit him. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I missed that one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I'm tough. No, I'm tough. I'm a bucket. 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 I'll take that win. That was beautiful. I feel like I was on some prime MW2 quick sto scoping type shit right there. That was, that was fire, bro. But all right, anyway, Miracle Will, let's see what's going to happen to Bull Bull first. I did add some new stuff in here as well, so we'll see what it lands on. Traded to team of choice. Not a great first one to get, but I mean, I guess it helps him on his way to get some championships. So I'm going to trade him to the team. I think he'll, I, I, get, I don't know if he's going to get minutes because he's, he's only 71 overall, but probably going to trade him to the best team I possibly can. I forgot to mention another very important rule of this video. You guys 
guys know it, but for every single championship that Bull Bull wins, I'm going to add $10 to a pot that is going to be given away on my Twitter. So if you want a chance to win that money, go follow my Twitter for all that stuff. And also just, you know, tweets about my videos, NBA stuff, all that stuff in general. So my bad. I forgot to mention that in the intro. I always forget that rule, though. It's just, I don't know why it always slips through me. But yeah, so if Bull Bull wins the championship, uh, you guys have a chance to win money. So there you go. But I'm having a hard time here deciding what team to go to. Like, I could put him on the Nets, and this team probably wins the championship. But is that ring really even going to matter? Because Bull Bull's not really going to even have a role. So I think I want to pair him with, like, a young superstar. And I think I might want to put him on the Mavericks with Luka. That might be a pretty good idea. It's either the Mavs with Luka, LaMelo on the Hornets. I could go with the Cavs. They always end up getting good. But it might take a while for Bull Bull to get minutes because they have Love and Jared Allen. So I don't know when he would get minutes. I'm going to put him on the Mavs. I'm, I'm going to have him play with Luka. That sounds like fun to me. All right, Bull Bull for Sterling Brown. This trade should go through. And there we go. All right, so now Bull Bull is on the Mavericks. Again, that really isn't the best first thing to get. Like, that's honestly pretty rough. Like, we, we just need stuff right now to make Bull Bull better as a player. There are some where just like, it's better for him to win a championship. We put him in better situations. Most of these, about 90% of them are just making him better overall. So we got kind of unlucky. He's still a reserve. No matter what team he was going to be on, he was going to be a reserve. So it is what it is. Let's simulate the season and see what happens. All right. Well, in the first season of Bull Bull's revival, Luka is the MVP. Cade Cunningham, Rookie of the Year. Sixth Man of the Year, Ben Simmons, Defensive Player of the Year, Giannis. Most Improved, Tyrese Maxey. And Coach of the Year, Steve Nash. Obviously, Bull Bull is not going to make an appearance on any of these teams because he's not getting any minutes. And somehow, the MVP is the 12th seed. I don't know. I really can't fathom that one. I have no idea. Maybe Luka's numbers were just so outstanding and, and this team would be a 15th seed without him. Like, that would even matter. You're not in the playoffs either way, so who cares? But, you know, MVP anyway, no playoffs. Now, maybe some of you wanted me to put him on the Nets or the Bucks because you wanted to make a quick buck on Twitter, but we're here to build a real dynasty with Bull Bull and Luka, and hopefully by the next few years, or hopefully if he's still on the team, okay, he's still here. He's on a one-year deal. I'm hoping he resigns. We'll see what happens there. But hopefully this stays together and we can really get a crazy duo with Bull Bull and Luka in the coming years. But anyway, let's go to sim out these playoffs. So a pretty depressing first year there. And um, let's see what the championship is. It's going to be the Heat, which at the time of recording this, it's tied one to one. So, um, you know, we'll see what happens there. And, you know, maybe if Tyler or Bam want to actually do something, that'd be awesome. And not just Jimmy carrying everybody. And, you know, hopefully by the time this comes out, they actually do that. And Jimmy Butler finals MVP. That's that is insane. And we're going to sim right the player progression. Whatever happens, happens. We pray to God Bull Bull stays on the team. If not, that sucks. And then if on the off chance, nobody signs him, we'll take some action to make sure he's on an NBA roster. All right, here's player progression. Did Bull Bull stay on this team? Did he resign a deal? He did, and he's a 74 overall. Now, this happened in the taco video. Very strange. I think it happens because I changed their... There's a stat where you could change their peak age where they get good and, like, when they start getting ass. And his original was 27 to, I believe it was 32. I bumped it to 27 to 34. So maybe that longer stretch of being good is raising his overall because I don't really know what else. I mean, he is only 21 years old, so him getting better isn't really that crazy. So, um, yeah, I guess we'll take it. He's on another one-year deal. So he stays on Dallas for one more season at the minimum. That plus three overall should be enough to get him out of the reserves. Maybe some minutes. Okay, so Bull Bull in his second year without even the Miracle Wheel's help. Well, I guess. I don't know if, if he was in Orlando, if he would be getting minutes. I have no idea. But at least on this team in Dallas, this is his first year he's getting minutes. So he's actually going to be productive. And um, we'll see how that works out. But we got challenge number two to get to and hopefully another Miracle Wheel spin. All right, give me something. I mean, listen, I don't mind the Fortnite one. That was cool. But, you know, we won't ever do a same challenge twice in a row. So we'll see what happens here. And this one, roll a die. Roll a die, odd number. Okay, and a, a random one this time. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, roll. Give me an odd number, and we got a three. Okay, the Miracle Wheel, we spun once again, and hopefully it's not an environmental change. Hopefully it's something that makes the player better overall. I also updated the Miracle Wheel so that when something gets landed on, it'll go away. There's still a slight chance of it getting landed on again, but it'll go away after, so we won't have that weird duplicate thing we had happen in the taco video if you went and watched that one. If you haven't, go ahead and watch it, and we got plus 30 to all tendencies. That that is huge because Bull Bull is going to be putting up some crazy numbers now. So what's his shot tendency? Where do we see? Okay, so his shot tendency is a 68. It's, it's going to go up to a 98 shot tendency, and then I'll move down his fouling down 30, whatever it was. So now that Bull Bull's tendencies have been boosted up 30 a pop, he is going to be, he's going to be putting up some crazy ass numbers. So uh, tendencies are very important when it comes to 2K. If you're, you know, new to watching videos like these, they are very important. So um, this is, I, I'm, I'm excited to see what he can do if, with his 14 minutes a game. We'll see. All right, and Luka is the MVP again. I mean, listen. And if, if Bull Bull gets better, he'll be able to deflect those Luka MVPs because he's just going to keep winning with these crazy ass numbers. So Bull Bull will be able to, de to deflect those numbers eventually. Rookie of the year, Chet Holcomb. Sixth man of the year, Colin Sexton. Defensive player of the year, Giannis. Most approved tires, Halliburton. And coach of the year, Willie Green. I doubt Bull Bull makes an NBA team with only 15 minutes a game, but you know, you can really only dream and he is not here. But the Mavericks at least have improved. They're the seventh seed now. So, you know, at least we can get out of the play in potentially. And we're going to make that happen before we look at stats. Anything like, oh, oh, wow, we are smacking the Spurs. Not that the Spurs are even really a good team. So, I mean, they're an okay team. 
team. They got some nice young pieces, but I mean, they're not ready for prime time like Luca and Bobo are. Let's see what Bobo did. Oh, <laughs> Bobo had 26 and made six threes. Okay, yeah, that, those those tendencies are definitely helping. So now they're in the playoffs, and the Spurs ended up making it anyway as well. But we're gonna have Memphis in the first round. Let's check out the stats. Bobo averaging 17, six and two, baby. Look at that. He shot 40% from the field, so that's pretty rough. And he shot 32% from three. But at least the tendencies are making him actually shoot the basketball. So we can't complain about that. He's putting on numbers. He's doing his thing. It just has to be more efficient. And that's going to come with raising his attributes, getting him badges. He only has eight badges. Overall, stuff's pretty low. I didn't really get the chance to show you guys Bull Bull himself and his attributes. I, just, I did that in the other ones. I don't know why I forgot to. But he's got a pretty nice three ball. You know, he's a pretty cheesy player for 2K standards overall, honestly. Just being a big man who can, you know, I don't know, pretty athletic. Can get up there. He's lanky. You know, he's got the shot. So, you know, he does his thing. He's got eight badges, three finishing, two shooting, no playmaking, and three defense. But Bron's chase down on this is enough to get some cheesy animations. All right, well, we're in the playoffs, though. Let's see what happens here in game one. They take, okay. I was, you know what? I was thinking about going to Memphis, and maybe we should have, um, oh, wait. Oh, I didn't mean to click somebody around. Whatever. We're, we're going to get smoked anyway, and uh, yeah, we just got swept. My candidates were Dallas, Memphis, and the Hornets, I think, and there was one other team there. So, you know, may maybe we should have went to Memphis. I don't know. This is on. Oh, we could have went to New Orleans, but Valanciunas would have been hard to get minutes over. I don't know. But, um, yeah, we could have went with the algorithm. That would have been a good team to go to as well. All right, here's player progression. Bull Bull is up to a 77 overall. Yeah, he just keeps getting better for no real reason. I'm not even giving him anything. I think his potential was a 78. I think that's why. So he may peak here at 78 and then it's really going to be up to the Miracle Wall at this point to make him better. So um, the team though is looking pretty rough. We really need some good pieces around Luka unless Bull Bull becomes a superstar within the next few seasons. So we'll see what happens. And here's the rotation. He's not even starting at center yet. Wait, why? Is oh, he's power forward center. Okay, that makes sense and why they're starting that. So I think by the end of the season, they'll start Bull Bull over Larry Nance, but we'll see. Having Serge Ibaka as your starting center in 2024, which is when we're at right now. I think 2024 is insane. But let's go ahead and see what our next challenge is. I mean, we're two for two so far. The first one didn't really help us too much, but uh, what do we got here? Uh, CPU blacktop 1v1 first to score. Okay. All right. So here we are on an NBA player generator. I'm going to click generate and I'm going to be rooting for the player on the left to score and I'm going to be going up against the player on the right. It's going to be CPU though. So we just need to hope the person on the left scores first. So here we go. Three, two, one. We have, again, they have to be actual players. Like I, I don't know who this guy is. They have to be two players that are like actually getting minutes on their basketball team. So we're going to keep generating until we get that. Let's see what we got here. Terrence Davis. Okay. No, come on. No, it's not going to happen. Me okay. Malik Beasley versus Mikael Bridges. I have Malik Beasley and I got to go up against Mikael Bridges. That's going to be tough. Again, y'all, it's first to score. There's no sudden death or weird, nothing like that. It's just first to score. By the way, I uploaded a 1v1 tournament rebuild. So very similar to something like this. If you want to go check that out, go right ahead. It's, I think it's my latest video before this one. Anyway, Mikael Bridges driving spin move. Good defense, Mikael. Okay. We got to. Oh, wait. Malik Beasley. Sorry. Mikael Malik and Mikael. That's so funny. Okay. Need Malik. Malik Beasley to score here. Not really sure how he's going to do that on Mikhail, one of the best defenders in the NBA, but got to get him on a hezzy tween, something, bro. Just anything. Okay. Okay, Malik. That's a crazy shot, bro. We're, we're not going to get a good shot off. Huh? I'm going to lose this, huh? I mean, but Mikhail doesn't have a crazy offensive bat. He's not a good 2K player. That, that's what I'll say. Obviously, he's got a nice little pull-up mid-range. He's got the three ball, but that's not really 2K action. So, it's not going to be easy for him either. Mikhail driving, pull-up midi, brick. Let's go. We may be here forever, man. <laughs> so, somebody needs... This is this is this is embarrassing. I'm not gonna lie, Mikhail, you can go ahead and score, bro. Like I'm not even I'm not even mad. Like <laughs> like I'm, I'm cool. Mikhail has no idea what he wants. Okay, he's got him. He's, he's gonna go up and make that. Yeah, he's got it. Bro, I want this shit to end. Like this, I don't want to watch this anymore. This is depressing. Malik Beasley. Okay, cross move. Lay. Let's go. Let's go, Malik. Let's go, baby. You're tough. You're 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 you're, you're a bucket, bro. I'll, I'll, I'll fuck with you, bro. Well, it looks like that worked out in our favor. And let's see what the next thing we land on with this miracle world. Need, we need some attribute upgrades. That's exactly what we need. All rebounding attributes, 99 overall. That's perfect. That's that's a great way to start this. Now, I'm not gonna lie, out of all the attribute upgrade ones on the miracle wheel, rebounding is probably the worst one, considering that there's only like two or three attributes that actually make sense here. Like it's literally just offensive rebound and defensive rebound. Like there's no box out rating or anything like that. So it's literally just rebound. But to get up and rebound to a 99, that, that, that's really good to have. And it boosted him up and overall. So now, Bull Bull is in the starting lineup. So by year three, already starting, that's not bad. Let's go ahead and simulate the season and see if we can make a run in the playoffs with Bull Bull's new rebounding attributes and still has all those tendencies to hit shots, but just not very efficiently. So, you know, we still got to get those attributes up. All right, and Jokic now is the MVP. Victor, uh, rookie of the year. Markel Fold, six man of the year on the Magic. Anthony Davis, defensive player of the year. Daniel Gaffer, most improving. JB Bickerstaff, coach of the year. Let's see if our guy Bull Bull made an NBA team. He's not ready yet, so understandable. And we're the seventh seed again, so 
So still fun in that play, and we just haven't gotten the pieces around again. Maybe I made the wrong choice of team. I don't know, but that is not going to stop Bull Bull from winning championships in this Miracle Wheel video. Wow, Golden State is the AC. That, that means either Curry got really ass real quick, or he's gone, or just the, the team lost its depth on what they have. But, I mean, we got a close one here. Coming down to the last minute, we got it. Yeah, okay. No hopping. Luka with 35-11. Bull Bull with 25-5. Bro, we made your rebounding 99, bro. You got to get more than five boards. That, that can't happen. So now we're going to be playing New Orleans in the first round. We're going to get smoked. That's not even going to be close. Let's see the stats, though. Bull Bull averaging a double-double, averaging 20, 10, and 3 in his third year. Well, not in his third year, but the third year of the Miracle Wheel video, he was averaging a double-double, man. He's already getting better by the second. He may not have the complete package with the attributes and all the badges, but he's got the tendencies. He's got the rebounding stuff, so it's all making it work out good, and the Mavs need a big rebounder, so and he's getting it done. I also noticed he got some more badges. He got some more shooting badges. Wow, he's got some silver. He's got silver catch and shoot, circus threes, corner specialist, dead eye. Wow, man. He's turning into new age Porzingis for Luka. That's funny. All right, well, here we go against New Orleans. Again, I don't think we have a shot unless Bull Bull just somehow goes crazy, I guess. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it is hard to beat the algorithm. We just got swept back to back years. This is very unfortunate. I should have chose New Orleans. I really should have chose fucking New Orleans. And Minnesota won the championship. Okay, well, and, and a bucket. But anyway, if Minnesota can win a championship, then so can we. So I'm not going to worry about winning a championship yet. We're still building up Bull Bull at this point. All right, player progress. No, no, Bobo didn't leave, right? Oh, my God. Oh, my dude. Oh, I saw Luka and LeBron. Like, oh, my God. Luka, LeBron, and Bobo. Guess not. Bobo's gone. So, oh, my God. That's a killer. Why would you sign a 40? Like, why would... This is like this is like ESPN wanting the Heat, wanting the trade uh, Bam and Tyler for 38-year-old LeBron, bro. Like, oh, my God. Like, what, this is so stupid. So, now we got to find where Bobo went. It's unfortunate he couldn't stay on this team, man. Hopefully, he's on another good team, at least. Bobo. Bobo's not even on a team. The man is a 79 overall. He's not on a team. How is he not on a team? He's one of the better power forwards in the NBA right now. That's insane. So I'm going to simulate to the next season, and I'm going to simulate like a week. If he's not signed onto a team, we'll make something happen, but I think he's going to get signed. He's too good to not get signed. All right, so I simulated nearly a month, and it says here that Bobo's not on a team, but he actually is. He's on the Toronto Raptors. Not a bad pickup at all. That is the first time in a Miracle World video that someone wasn't on a team at the beginning of the season, so that was pretty rare to happen. But it does make sense, though. I mean, it's hard to pay everybody in the NBA once it gets so inflated and everything like that. But he is the seventh man on this roster. What did they pay him? How much money did they give Bobo? They gave him a one. Wow, they got him for the minimum, dude. Okay, well, we got to go ahead and hope he gets better. So we got to do the Miracle Wheel again. But you guys know in order to get that Miracle Wheel, we got to complete the challenge. I know maybe I could have did the challenge at the beginning of the season anyway because, you know, just kind of follow the rules. But I want to make sure he was on a team. Okay, flip a coin heads. All right, well, 50 50 chance here. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. It says flip again. I didn't flip it. When you type in flip a coin on Google, it, make, it flips it for you already. So I didn't flip it. Just make it out there putting it out there okay anyway three two one flip please for the love of god land on heads give us a chance to make him good and it lands on heads okay miracle will here we come we need something that's gonna make him good fat like to at least make him like an 82 83 overall so whatever that's badges overall boost like locations not really gonna help us here potential 99 that is exactly what we need right now yes giving his potential as a 99 is gonna be perfect he's locked it now he's not gonna be off a team for a long time there's no way wow that was definitely one of the better ones we can get his potential right now is a 79 so it went up one since we started this so um now going all the way up to a 99 there is no chance any team is not going to take the advantage of having him on his team there's no way he's not going to be on a team at the start of any season so that that that's awesome to have the only problem is bull bull right now is 25 years old but his peak doesn't start until, until he's 27 so he has two seasons to really get good and he will He'll probably get up to like an 85 86 um and then hopefully the miracle will keeps blessing him so we'll see what happens all right and yeah uh, sorry there Giannis is mvp something my throat pause anyway rookie of the year dj wagner six man of the year bull six man of the year bull bull Okay, that is a good start. He's shooting much better, too. Shooting 46% from the field, 83% from the free throw line, and 43% from three. Holy shit, he must have got really good. Okay, Giannis, if it's a play of the year, and Jalen Durant most improved. I wonder if he made an all-NBA team. I don't think you can make an all-NBA team. Has a six-man ever made an all-NBA team? That's a great question. Probably not. It'd be pretty hard to do, but um, yeah. Anyway, we're the fourth seed, and now in the Eastern Conference, so we got a matchup with Detroit, and Cade might uh might kill us, but we'll see what happens. And let's check out the stats. Bobo averaging 17 and 8. Wow, this team has a lot of guys scoring the ball. This is just a good this is just a good overall team. So, you know, we may have some good success here in the playoffs. And let's see the rotation. So, he's not starting. It's going to be kind of hard to start over Gobert or Scotty Barnes. Like, that kind of, you know, that makes sense. But, um, you know, he's an 80 overall now. So, he's looking good. All right, here we go. Game one, they take game. Have we won a play? Okay, I was going to say, have we won a playoff game yet? <laughs> game two, we take. Game three, they take. Game. Wow, we're getting smoked in the playoffs right now. Okay, at least we got a simcast. And hopefully, we can force a game seven here. We got. Oh, we just went on a great second quarter run, 36 to 22. And that might be the game right there. 
there. It's going to get... No, it's not close. We ran away with it. Okay. Fred with 34. Bull Bull with 20. Man, he shoots a lot of threes. What is his three-point rating? What is his three? It's an 87. Wow. And he has not enough potential. That three's probably going to go up to like a 93 or something like that by, you know, by the peak of his career. All right. Well, game seven. Hopefully the first time we get out of the first round with Bull Bull in this career revival, but we'll see what happens. Late in the fourth quarter here, this could be a hop in or... Oh, yeah, this might be this might be a hop in. 50 seconds left. Eh, we could tie it down a little bit. Okay. Yeah, we'll hop in. We'll hop in. Now, the good thing about Bull Bull is he should have cheesy signatures, animations, all that kind of stuff. So he's a very good 2K player. But we got to get a stop here on Cade. That's great defense. Nice little trap there. Ooh, Bobo's guarding Chet. Is that Scoot Henderson? They have Scoot. Okay, Barnes is locking that up, though. Good defense. Wow, this Toronto team is playing some great defense right now. The one second left. That 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 is clamps. Are they going to foul? Yeah, they're going to foul. We might be getting out of this. Well, we should have this in the bag. I mean, we're up three with 24 seconds left. I don't think they're going to get a good three off with how good this Toronto defense is. Or, or maybe not. Don't make that. Thank you. Okay, game's over. Good rebound, Bagley. That'll do it. Let's check out the stats here. <laughs> Bull Bull leading the team in scoring with 26, 9, and 5, shooting 10 for 14, 3 for 4 from 3, bro. Just a dominant game from the sixth man of the year. Now we have Boston in the second round. It's going to be a tough one, especially with Tatum probably growing into like a 95, 96 overall at this point. So he's going to be tough. Boston takes game one. They take game two. Yeah, they're okay. I mean, yeah. Uh, okay, we got a game. Can we get two? Okay, at least we got a simcast. Could the Celtics choke a 3-0 lead? I don't know. I think they could. Getting down to the fourth quarter here. We're making it close. Oh, they just went on a run there in the fourth. Oh, but it's still close. We might hop into this one as well. Let's see if it... Oh, we're up through 40 seconds left. Let's see if Boston... Okay, we're, we're gonna hop in. 30 seconds left, up one. And Bull Bull's in the game. So hopefully... Tor oh, Toronto has no timeout. So Bull Bull's gonna be in the game unless a foul happens, anything like that, or any substitutions. Oh my God. Bull Bull. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> <coughs> uh, why just why god why did the 2k gods make him do that pass that made no sense post up bobo bobo bo, bo, go on baby oh got him on the fake got his ass <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe he threw that ball. All right, one stop, and hopefully we get the stop, and Bull doesn't turn the ball over after. Seven seconds left. Really, honestly, anyone should have this ball other than Tatum. We got to get the ball out of Tatum's hands. Off the pick and roll. Good defense, Bull Bull. Good defense. And we're going to a game seven. Oh, they fouled a point two left, but we're going to a game seven. Let's see the box score. Scotty Barnes with 34. Bull Bull with 32 and nine, bro. Oh, my God. Six threes. He's open. Our Bull Bull and the Toronto Raptors about to pull off the 3 0 upset. We're taking a lead in the second quarter. Had a great second quarter quarter there keeping it close throughout the third boston going on a run here we got it we got to keep it tight though oh man boston's going on a run man oh we kept it close come on okay three point game with a minute left we hop in we hop in we gotta hop in it's game seven we have to hop in i've been reading the comments some of you guys want to see more live gameplay so i'm gonna try my best to get it as many times as i can but i know like you know some of you don't want to see like you know game six up three two in the first round and like we're up five with a minute left like like i, I understand the boundaries but i know you guys want more live gameplay so we're gonna have to get a stop here bobo's got to get the switch Nice, man. Yo, cool. Sick. Great defense, bro. Just just, just fantastic defense. Well, not much we could do here now. Maybe a pick and pop with Bull Bull. Try to get him a three. I, I don't know, but we, we don't got much going for here. Bull Bull posting up. Working in the... All right, we can go ahead and chalk this one up. All right, we, we're going to take a loss. But impressive enough, we made some we made some noise here in the playoffs. Let's check out the stats. Jalen Brown with 30, Tatum with 29. They have Booker, Tatum, and Jalen Brown. What? This team is stacked. Okay, and oh, uh, wow. Okay, we had, a, we had a rough game. Well, I guess, you know, taking Jalen Brown, Tatum, and Devin Booker to seven games is pretty impressive. So, I'll, and even being down 3-0, and the Rockets won the championship. Jalen Green. Oh, he's another guy. We could have went to Houston. But, I mean, we're in Toronto at this point, so it doesn't really matter what I did there in the first few years. All right, let's check out player progression and bull. Bull is no longer on this team. Is that Sylvester O'Neal? I don't know who that is. But anyway, we're going to have to see where Bull Bull is. I'm assuming the Raptors could just couldn't afford to keep him. So Bull Bull is on the Bucks now, making $20 million and is an 84 overall. Let's see his stats. Okay, so he has a 93 three ball. Oh my God, dude. He, he is insane. And he's got 28 badges. Look at the shooting badges. He's literally just beefed up Porzingis. Look at the Bucks player progression. They don't even have Giannis anymore, but they have Anthony Edwards. So I guess we'll take that, man. If they had Giannis and Anthony Edwards, that would be an instant change championship. But we got a little duo here of Bull Bull and Anthony Edwards, so I'm cool with that. I said Anthony Edwards about four times there. I wonder if Bull Bull still has his shot tendencies and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, he still has 99. Oh, he's 99 shot tendency now. It was the 98 when we uh, beefed it up up 30 from that from the uh, Miracle Wheel before, but um, yeah, he is looking pretty good. It's funny that there's so many things on the Miracle Wheel that can make you grow like that and make you like a 95 overall like in an instant second, but Bull Bull's growth in this video has been very uh, grace gracefully. He's been growing gracefully. Like, he's been just slowly getting better. He's had a 
few nice things happen to him and he's now an 84. So it's it's been very nice to see this growth, but we're looking for Bobo to become a superstar. So hopefully this next challenge is easy and we can get the uh, miracle will spin once again. But you can't really get much better than potential being in 99. You know, there's only so many things that can really happen on this wheel, but let's see what we got here. <laughs> okay, check the time even. So I'm gonna show my phone right now. If it is an even time, then we win. What's the time on it? What's it say? Oh, it's an even time! <laughs> It's actually, bro, bro, someone in the taco video commented, check the time. And if it's an even or odd number, bro, I thought that was the funniest shit ever. I was like, okay, I'm going to put that nonsense on this. And I cannot believe it was actually an even time. That's hilarious. Okay, so we just won that. That's so funny. Time to spin the miracle wheel for the time of the day being even. And yes, I'm recording this at 3.30 in the morning. I had to fix my sleep schedule because so I can record a whole bunch of videos. And we're going to lock off fantasy badge just to attack on that. So I'm recording a whole bunch of videos in bulk so I can start working on my big project video I've been telling you guys about for the past few weeks. But I wasn't able to work on that because, you know, the whole virus thing, you know, we got we got that. I had to deal with that. So, you know, but we're back to being good now so I can finally put my time into that. So now we're going to be giving Bobo every single finishing badge on Hall of Fame. This is going to be pretty cheese. But so now Bobo is a 90 overall. He is officially approach stardom and he's close to superstardom. And now he's getting 33 minutes a game in the rotation, man. This is a scary ass team. This is a championship team. We got some nice depth as well. We got some scores off the bench. So I think we can win the championship with this team, especially Anthony. Edwards plays how he's supposed to. All right, and LaMelo Ball is the MVP. Cameron Payne, Rookie of the Year. Sixth Man of the Year. Trey Man, Defensive Player of the Year. Jonathan Isaac, Most Improved, Osser Thompson, and Coach Eater, Steven Silas. <laughs> Okay. All right. I didn't see that coming. I, 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 that, that caught me off guard. Bull Bull is first team all NBA now, guys, with 40 badges, 91 overall, man. And this is, we, we've come a long way. And we're only the fifth seed. I thought we'd be a little better considering we have a first team all NBA player. And also Anthony Edwards, who at this point is probably a superstar. So, um, you know, I thought we'd be a little better. Let's check out the stats though. Bull Bull averaging 23, 13, and four, shooting 52% from the field and 45% from three. These are insane stats. As long as Ant picks up his game in the playoffs and Bull Bull keeps playing like this and everyone else steps up as well like we got a good shot at winning the championship well here we go we got the magic who was the team we were on first so um we'll see if they can get revenge on us for losing bull bull in the first place so they win game one they win game two they win are you are you dead okay we got a game cool and really we're gonna lose in five to orlando who do they even have they have send june they have climate and june they have Fultz. they have suggs mobamba cole anthony they, they actually have a very deep team yeah look at that every, every single player they have is an 80 over wow every player that plays is over an 80 overall i got okay I, you know, I really can't complain about losing this team. They have a lot of depth. We should have never left, bro. We should have, we should have stayed in Orlando, man. <laughs> That's tough. But uh, the Thunder are the NBA champion. Shy is the Finals MVP, averaging 22, 6, and 9. Now we're going to see if he actually ends up getting a new contract. He should because he's a superstar at this point. But he's been getting one-year kind of hand-me-down deal. So we'll see what happens. All right, here's player progression. And Bull Bull is gone. Hopefully on a team that is a contender and also a team that gave him more than a one-year deal. All right, so Bull Bull is a 94 overall on the Phoenix Suns now. And he got a three-year contract. So finally, Bull Bull is getting the bag. He's getting a long-term contract. So we don't have to worry about where he's going to be playing every single season. So now he has some stability. He can just go out there and ball. Let's see the Suns player progression. They have Bull Bull, Bam, Isaiah Stewart. Oh, they have Bronny. Okay. Dylan. Bro this is a good team, man. Bronny, James, Bam, and Bull Bull. That's a nice little big three, man. I can see us doing big things in a few years. I think we've gotten to the point with Bull Bull to where he's good enough to where we're not content. We want to see him become a 99 and be cheesy as hell, obviously. But we're at the point where we also want to see him start winning now the progression phase of the video is not over because obviously he can still get way better than he is like he's just so many things we can improve him but we want to see him start winning championships now i know i do for sure so we'll see what happens but we got another challenge to do all right here we go let's see if we get check the time odd <laughs> that's so funny that one got landed on that was great okay random 83 overall nba player three players okay all right so here we are back on the current nba player generator and i'm going to press generate if one of the three players is currently in the nba right now an 83 overall or higher then we complete the challenge if not, then we lose. So here we go. Three, two, one. Generate. We have Mello, Jeff Green, and Justin Holiday. Well, that is unfortunate because none of these guys are an 83 overall and above. So not completing this challenge. But I mean, to be fair, we've won like every single challenge so far. So to lose one, you know, makes sense. So we're, we're good. We're going to simulate the season and see how well the Suns team does. All right. And Luca is the MVP yet again. Rookie of the year, Julio Cardinal. They're fake players at this point. Six man of the year, Tyler. You know what, man? Again, we're, I'm, I'm recording this one. It's one to one. You should start playing like this. That'd be awesome, dude. Not averaging 13 a game while Jimmy 
he's averaging 30, bro. I'd appreciate it. Anyway, let's go ahead and move on. Defensive player of the year, Jonathan Isaac, most improved. Paulo Benchero, coach of the year, Mark Dagna. Let's see if, oh, wow. Paulo Benchero made all NBA first team, so he probably took Bobo's spots. I'm assuming Bobo made second team. Yep, there he is. But the Suns are the second seed. This is the best team we've been on so far as far as playoff seeding. Let's check out the stats. Bobo leading our team in scoring, averaging 23, 11, and 3, shooting 51% from the field, 42% from three. So numbers, a little down compared to last year, but, you know, we're winning more games, so I'm not going to complain. So we'll see if it's enough to win an NBA championship. Sorry if my voice sounds kind of raspy. I, I got like a little cough right now, hiccups, all that kind of, you know, ugly stuff. So, you know, I'm going to do my best though. But anyway, game one versus Golden State. We beat them in the play in like four years ago. But here we go. Game two, they take. Game three, we take. Game four, they, we, we have not had one convincing series win at all this entire video. Hopefully this doesn't have to come to a close game or, you know, we have to go to a game seven. Let's just close them out. Like, look, look, can we convincingly get this team to the conference finals and make some noise? That'd be nice. And we're going to at least get out of this first round with some confidence. Bull Bull with the best game of his life, 40 points, 12 rebounds, 6 assists, 7 for 12 from 3. That's that's pretty good, man. And Bronny James being his right-hand man. Now we have the Spurs. The Spurs, how are they good? Like, I guess DeJounte, maybe they drafted someone. I don't know, but we'll see what happens here. Game 1, Phoenix takes. Game 2, Phoenix takes. Game. Oh, wow, we just, yeah, okay, we just, okay, they got a game. Good for them. And we smoked them. All right, so we confidently got ourselves to the conference finals like I wanted. And now we have the Thunder. We'll probably have a whole bunch of young guys and a bunch of 80 overall. So this is going to be a tough team to beat. Here we go. Game 1, OKC. Game Game two, we take. Game two, we take. Game four. All right, two to two. Just got to take game five here, and we do. All right, we got a sim cast at least. This could end up being Bull Bull's first NBA championship, man. I am very happy for Bull Bull. The journey we've been on so far, what the miracle will has done for him, and we're going to game seven. So, you know, just everything I just said, just don't even mind it. Damn, where, where's Bull Bull? How bad of a game did he have? Nine points, Bull Bull? That can't happen, bro. You're the best player on his team, bro. That cannot happen. So, after an absolute choke job from Bull Bull, he's got to make it up here in game seven, man. That is where Stars become superstars, man. In the biggest game of the year, Game 7. What are you going to do? It's a close one. Last uh, minute here. Four-point game. Not really. Okay, I'm going to hop I'm gonna hop into this. And we have the ball. So they're going to foul, obviously. And then hopefully we knock them down. Have a three-point game. Bronny, first free throw. Got it. Come on, Bronny. You're clutch. You got this one as well. There we go. Oh, we're playing Mikey Williams. Oh. Please miss it. Thank you. Okay. Okay. We're, we're, we're good. 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 Good rebound, Bobo. That, that, that is the rebound of your life right there. Why do we just leave him wide open? Well, one free throw from Bobo. Oh, are we playing Porzingis? Wow. I've been talking about Porzingis this whole video. Passing the torch from Porzingis to Bobo. And he made one of two, so that should be enough. All right. Let's check out the stats here. And Bronny James, just like his dad, in game seven, is being amazing. 39 and 7. Bobo was 17 and 12. And Bobo, you are on your way to potentially earning your first championship in the NBA. Also, as the best player on your team so very impressive stuff happening here and we're playing our first team at the start of this video not actually bobo's first team but this is exciting this team is crazy though their depth is ridiculous like look at this like they have so many 80 overalls like this is insane that is the type of team that 2k loves so we, we might lose this i'm not gonna lie but here we go game one we take game two we take game three magic take game four magic take oh my god are we gonna blow a 2-0 lead Okay, we're up 3-2. We just got to come through on one of these SimCast games and get ourselves the first NBA championship Bull Bulls career. Fourth quarter late. It's a close one. This is a potential hop into Magic up 2 of 45 seconds left. Okay, we'll bite. We'll bite. It's the finals. We'll play it. And the Magic have the ball, so we're going to have to get a stop. Jalen Suggs trying to go up. Okay. Okay. Good defense. Board. Grab the ball. Whose ball is that? Suggs ball. Let's go. It is up to Bronny. And wow, Bronny's tired. He's got the Gatorade symbol. This ball's got to go to Bobo. Bobo off the screen. Give it to Bobo. He's wide open. Bronny. Wait, what just happened? Who fouled? Oh, Bronny fouled. Dude, what are you doing, Bronny? You had Bobo wide open for the lamp trying to take all the shine and glory. Your dad would have passed that ball to Bobo. And now we got to hope they miss a free throw. Suggs knocking down the first. Second free throw for Suggs. Made both. I mean, we still got a timeout we're going to use and maybe get a three off. I don't know. We got a shot, but it's it's slim to none. Bobo, what are you doing? He's going to shoot some nonsense here. Oh, Bronny! Why did he shoot it? Oh, my God. <coughs> Why did he shoot that three? What's wrong with you? Well, what an all-time choke job by Bronny James. That was sickening to watch, but we still got one game to prove ourselves. Game seven. Come on, man. For all the marbles, no pun intended, let's see if we can take care of business. Whoa, we blew them out in that second quarter. We just got to keep pressing on to it, and I think we're going to have ourselves an NBA championship, baby. Wow, this is this is really nice to see. We're going to hop in. We want to see the ceremony. Well, if 2K lets us actually see it. Oh, yeah. Bag work. 
Bag work. Oh my god. No, Bull Bull is so nasty in 2K, bro. <laughs> I'm tough. And Bull Bull has finally done it. We still have plenty of career to go and plenty of, you know, spins to go on the uh, Miracle Wheel, man. We can make Bull Bull so much better. This could be the start of a dynasty in Phoenix. He still has two more years left on this contract. Him, Bam, Bronny are going to run the league, hopefully, for the next few years. And we have Ty Lue as a coach. I didn't even know that. Wow. We got a great coach. Who won finals MVP? Is that... That's not even Bull Bull. Wait, who is that? Who won finals? And is that Bronny or who the hell is that? I think that's Bronny. Let me look at Bronny's face. Or wait, is it who who won finals MVP? Who was that? Anyway, Suns won the championship. Okay, it was Bronny. Just making sure. But um, I guess Bull Bull's better have his Steph Curry career arc and not winning a finals MVP. We'll see. Well, here's player progression. Bull Bull went down two overalls. This is this is the, the stupid shit about 2K, number one. And number two, you know, we're gonna, you know, hopefully the Miracle Wheel can restore just whatever nonsense this is, because him going down two overalls makes absolutely no sense. But anyway, congrats on the championship. Now $10 will be added to the pot to give away on Twitter. So, so far, someone's gonna have a chance to win $10. Good for you for whoever wins that so far. But, um, yeah, rotation looks good. We got some depth, and uh, we got our stars in Bull Bull. We got Bronny James still. We got Bam still, so we're looking good. But let's see if we can make Bull Bull even better with this next challenge. Give me a skill challenge. We, we've had a lot of random challenges recently. Give me something I can actually do. First score in Rocket League. All right, that's not one I really want to do. It's a new challenge, but I'm not very good at this game, like, at all. I did a practice run. Not good at all. I'm awful. All right, so again, my team has to be the first team to score. Whether I score or anyone else on my team scores. So I can get carried to a win here. I don't care. I'll take whatever. I don't know how to play this game, dude. I re I'm really not good at all. Like, I'm, I'm really not good. Okay. All right, good, good, good offense. There we go. Let's push it. Hit, hit it to the right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to... Oh, he hit me. Okay. No, I hit. Oh my god. Oh my. Okay. Okay. My bad. My fault. My fault. That's me. That's me. I missed the ball. I. I hit it. Hit it out. Hit it out. Hit it out. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stop this guy. There we go. Look at that. Look at that defense. Okay. Get up. Yeah. All right. You're on my dick now. You're on my dick. You're being weird. Okay. The ball's flying. Oh. This is my chance to shot. I missed. I missed the ball. Oh. Oh. Oh my chance. No. Oh. He hit it in. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, you know what? I played good defense. You gotta at least give me that one. We scored. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna be quitting because um, you know, we have we have um career revivals to do here. We're not worried about a little Rocket League game. Just saying, just putting it out there. But you guys have fun. Well, with Bull Bull randomly just getting ass, we're wow, nice voice crack there. We're gonna need something that's gonna make him good right away. Whether it's badges, whatever it may be. Tendencies all hundred. I mean, I guess that helps. Yeah, I mean that, that'll help out a lot for sure. Um, it doesn't really help with his overall, but for as far as his um, ability to play basketball, that's gonna do wonders. I mean, he already has 99 shots tendency but again everything else is getting get bumped to 100 so him as a playmaker rebounder defender all that stuff is going to get beefed up because of his tendencies dude bull bull is 7 2 2 20 that is insane because at one point in my life i was like almost 200 pounds and i'm like six foot so like that that is actually insane i weigh like 165 right now but like that that is insane well it wasn't exactly the upgrade we wanted to get from the miracle wheel but it is going to help pull bull bull play better so you know we can't hit on that it just oh we just hope he doesn't keep getting worse over these next three or four years and hopefully we get something that just instantly makes go back up that's what all we can pray for okay and bull bull is your mvp averaging 27 12 and 7 told you those tendencies were gonna matter shooting 55 percent from the field and 51 percent from three yeah bull bull's looking pretty good rookie of the year alden anthony six man of the year mikey Williams, defensive player of the year ben simmons most improved julio cardinal and coach of the year west on sale bull bull obviously making first team all man did he make first team all defense that'd be kind of nice okay he, did. he made second team all defense that's nice and the suns are the third seed. we got memphis in the first round so going up against Ja, it's gonna be tough but but, um, I like our chances. And as for the stats for everyone else, I mean, everyone played okay. Oh, we lost Bam, and we got quickly. That was a terrible trade. If that was a trade, that is an awful trade to make. We got uh, we got Davia Mitchell. That's not bad either. But, man, we have no big men outside of Bull Bull, really. I guess Isaiah Stewart and this guy Spencer Thorpe's not bad. But, damn, I really like having, I really liked having Bam. But, anyway, let's see. We do these puffs against Memphis. Game one, they take. Game two, they take. Game three, we take. Game four, we take. Okay, we're bouncing back. Game five, okay. Now we have ourselves a game six simcast. And, hopefully, it's enough to take down John the Grizzly because we want to make another run of the championship with all those new tendencies boosted up to us and you know Bronny and us and uh this is gonna go seven because we just blew it in that second half my lord Bull Bull had 46 18 and 9 <laughs> what else was he supposed to do? they have Z wait don't tell me they have Zion and Ja oh I know they just have Zion so Ja's not on this team anymore they have Derek Lively Andrew Wiggins um Tyus Jones they're not bad so it's literally just Zion against Bull Bull so um who's gonna come out on top well it looks like it's gonna be up because we just smoked them in that first half still going on a good run just kind of playing keep away and uh, I think we got it yeah this, this game's over Bull Bull <laughs> back to back nearly 50 point games that, that
that's pretty good, man. And back-to-back -back nearly triple doubles as well. Yeah, those tendencies, man, they, you can have all the attributes you want, but it's going to come down to those tendencies. If you have a, an 100 overall player, but you got no tendencies, that man's going to be ass. But if you have a 60 overall player with 100 tendencies, he's going to light up that stat sheet, bro. It may not be efficient, but Bull Bull being a great player and having the tendencies, he's efficient and he's lighting it up. So he's got the best of both worlds. And now we have the algorithm in the second round, Um, but, you know, not really the algorithm anymore without having, I don't know if they have BI or the Zion. So we'll see what happens here. Game one, they take. Game two, they take. Game three, what? Okay, all right. I guess, I guess no matter what, they're the algorithm, and they w went ahead and beat us in five. Let's see who they got. They have, okay, Darius Garland, he's that guy. Tyler Hero, he's that guy. I, I feel that. They got Keontae George. They, they don't really have anyone else crazy, though. They just have a very, like, solid team overall, I guess. But let's go ahead and this playoffs. So we could not get the back-to-back -back championships, and OKC won the championship shots. Finals MVP averaging 23 and 11. All right, here's player progression. Okay, now Bull Bull went up to a 93. I don't understand 2K. I really, I really don't get it. Like, how did he go up one and down two the previous year? I don't know. But Bull Bubble has one year left on his contract, and knowing 2K, he'll most likely be gone from this team, although they don't look like they're spending too much money. The only person really spending money on like that is Davia Mitchell, so I guess they're going to choose between Davia Mitchell and Bull Bull, so we'll see what happens there. I mean, okay, that shouldn't be a hard decision, but, you know, we'll, we'll see how that works out. Let's see the rotation for this upcoming season. Um, I mean, the, the depth has definitely gone down in the past few years. We don't have the deep team like we had in that championship run or even the year before that. You know, we'll, we'll see what happens here, though, but let's see if we can make Bull Bull better. How many years have we done? Like, eight years? We've, we've lost, like, one challenger, or we've lost two. I think we're, like, seven and two or six and two we want a lot of challenges Oh, no. Okay. All right. All right. I had time for me to just sweat my nuts off. Here we go. So if you don't know what type racer is, sorry, I'm very close up to the camera because I have to be for when we go ahead and do this, but you pretty much race like three other people in a typing contest and you all have to type out like a, like a few sentences and whoever finishes first is the winner. So I got to become the winner in order for, for us to spin the miracle wheel. So here we go. Oh, we're playing against four other people. Okay. It's going to be eight. Okay. All right. Here we go. I'm gonna do my best. I'm not going to be talking. I got to lock in. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Horse that what that's in oh my god America did I win oh I came in sick oh my god I messed up on America that guy oh my god no bro oh my god I messed up on America I did a lowercase a instead of capital I had to go back and fix it bro oh my god I sold oh my man I should have won that bro I should have 100% won that I sold the America at the end well that was just unlucky I guess we'll go ahead and just send the end of the season man I'm sorry I let you guys down I tried man I, he literally typed one more word a minute than me I just messed up the American that that was it that was the word I goofed all right and Scoot Henderson is your MVP Donnie Saunders rookie of the year Mikey Williams six man of the year Giannis defensive player of the year in Atlanta Jesus what the hell you been doing in your career for the past five years most improved Bronny oh okay we got a real running mate now Bronny James averaging 27 and 8 we might have ourselves a championship and Bobo made first team all NBA I wonder if Bronny made a team he probably made like second or third I, I I would have to assume okay yeah he made third team and we are the third team but we're playing the algorithm so that is just going to be a uh that's gonna be a problem let's see the stats Bronny leading the team in scoring but Bobo giving us 24 10 and 6 he's doing his thing man I mean literally doing everything we picked up presses of true we have Julius Randle now okay we have Davian Mitchell obviously still and the rotation looks solid again the actually you know we kind of improved on that depth a little bit by picking up Julius Randle so we got a little bit of depth nothing crazy Obi Toppin's our test man if he could play like how he played um like the last three games of the year that'd be really nice but here we go it doesn't matter because you know we're playing New Orleans so who cares <laughs> Phoenix we take game one New Orleans takes game two we take game three we take game four and we're going to the second round all right now we got the grid bro we've been playing like the same like three teams the past like five years Jesus Christ we just keep playing Memphis and New Orleans every single season but anyway game one we take game two we take game three they take game four we take okay so a convincing first two rounds we're already back in the conference finals the last time we got ourselves in the conference finals we won the championship so let's see if it happens again and we got the Thunder who are another cheesy team they're just really young they got some cheesy ass players so here we go game one they take game two they did I jinx it by saying last time we made it to the conference finals uh, I, I might have jinxed it okay I jinxed it my bad let's see what they got so they got shy giddy they got up uh, they have Jalen Brown as well Jabari Smith by fault Bayfall is it Bayfall or I think it's Bayfall Mikey what the f this team is good at oh yeah okay this team is good dude they, they have Mikey Williams Bayfall Jabari Smith giddy and shy this team's stacked and Jalen Brown this team's ridiculous anyway let's see who wins the championship it's the Thunder shy wins the final MVP who the hell is on the Wizards in 20 oh they have Ja okay well you know what yeah if you have Ja and you have DJ Wagner yeah you got a shot to win some championships with a team like that anyway here's player progression and they decided to pay Davian Mitchell that is going to be the 
worst mistake of the Phoenix Suns franchise of all time. There is no way they chose to pay Davion Mitchell Oh man. Dude, this duo of Bronny and Bobo is going to be crazy for the next like five years. And they just went ahead and blew it. So now we got to see where Bobo is. And what's Bobo ranked? He's like what? Like top 20 player? Yeah, he's like a top 20 player. He's back in Toronto now. Okay. So let's see. This. Is that Lamelo? Oh, it's okay. It's Lonzo. Okay. So they have Bobo and Lonzo, Capella, Duarte, Marco Fultz. Not a bad team, but the depth on this team is disgustingly bad. Jesus Christ. They need some depth. Hopefully they make some trades during the season because this, this is looking rough outside of the, the starting five. All right. Well, here we go in the next season. Bobo is 29 years old. The man is almost 30. So we've been doing this for what? Eight or nine seasons, maybe nine seasons, I think at this point. So um, yeah, man, it's been an exciting journey seeing Bobo get better, win a championship, all that fun stuff. Let's see if we can actually fin spin the Miracle Wolf for once. It's been two seasons since we've done it. But to be fair, we start off winning like six in a row. So, you know, it's fair. So let's see what our next challenge is. You know what? I'm in the mood for a random challenge. The skill ones haven't been too nice to me lately. Okay, Connect Four. I can bump with some Connect Four. I'm cool with that. All right, it looks like he got the first move. So I'm going to have to. Okay. Is, is this guy going to be a. This guy's level 38 in Connect Four. This guy's going to be a sweat. All right, I'm going to go here. Okay, so he kind of has to going up there. Okay, he, he's got a strategy. He's got to have methods that I, that I just don't have. I know something bad is gonna happen here. Okay, he's going up on the ladder there. Um, I'm going to go. I'm gonna go right here. Let, let's see. Let's see what he counteracts with. Okay, so he blocked me. Obviously, not surprised there. I'm gonna come. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go here. All right, he's gonna go up above me. All right. So I'm going to kind of set myself up here though. So I'm going to go right here and I make it this eventually. If we, if I just can keep fending him off, I, I might have a shot to, to grab that, but I need to give myself another option somewhere else. So I think I'm going to swing high up and then maybe make some action go somewhere else. Okay. He's going right there. So, but he's, he, he needs this though. And he's not going to be able to get that unless I go down there. That doesn't really help him. So I'm just going to keep building up. I'm going to go up here. You can have that bottom left one. That's fine. That doesn't concern me. Okay. He's going to sh shade me up on the top. I was trying to get that top one going. He didn't get me there. Uh, I'm going to go right here. I'm going to go right there. Let, let, let's see what action he gets running. He, he's probably going to take this spot right here. Oh no. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He took that spot. That's what I thought. <clears throat> Hmm. Okay. This is very tough here. I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go here. That's not a bad, that's not a bad option. Let's see where he bounces back at. Okay. He's going to go right there again. That doesn't really help him though, because it we're, we're, no one's touching the middle row. So, so it doesn't really matter what combinations you get in the middle row. Uh, oh, it's really just going to come down to the middle row. Honestly. Yeah. It's, it's just going to come down to the middle row. So as long as I prevent him from going upwards, then like, um, I'm fine. Oh, he's going to try to go for that. I see what he's doing. So I should place one down here. Then I'll go down there. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Oh, cr oh, Oh, he just cooked me, bro. Oh my God. He just cooked me. Yeah. He, oh, applause. You cooked me, bro. You, yeah. You, yeah. Yeah. You cooked me, bro. Good. Yeah. Now nah, you got me. Mm -hmm. Wow. I can't believe I just got cooked like that. That was, that was bad. I, I, I can't believe I got cooked like that. Well, that's three in a row um, of not spinning the miracle wheel. Now, someone told me in the comments, which I think is a pretty good idea. If we go five challenges in a row without spinning the miracle wheel, that next one, we will automatically get the spin. So, you know, I think it's a good concept because you guys obviously wanted to see the miracle wheel get spun. But if we somehow get that unlucky to miss five challenges in a row, then we will get an automatic win, whatever the next one is. All right. And Scoot Henderson's taking over the league, winning another MVP. Rookie of the year, Jaden Bradley. Six man of the year, Dalen got away defensive player of the year Kwame Evans most improved Patrick Grant and coach of the year Wes Unsell Bobo May first team all NBA again and there's Bronny on first team man look at look at Phoenix bro you know what Phoenix just did what, what OKC did with Harden that's literally what you just did like you just you just blew it you blew a dynasty you just blew it but anyway the Raptors are the fourth seed so we're still you know well in contention where, where are the Suns at they're the seventh seed see if you would have had Bobo instead of Davian Mitchell you wanted to go with uh, having Kevin Martin you know what I mean so it, it is what it is let's see the stats so Bobo averaging 26 14 and 7 shooting 52 percent from the field 44 percent from three Lonzo Lonzo giving us some good minutes, averaging 18 and 8, doing his thing. Chris Duarte, did we get some, oh wait, we didn't have Chris Duarte before that, I don't think we did, but did we get some depth? Uh, not really. But let's see what we can do against Philly here in the first round. Game one, they take. Game two, we take. Game three, they take. Game four, we take. Game five, okay. At least we're sim casting, you know, we just, uh, we gotta somehow keep it close and the Sixers just ran a train on us there in that first half. And, oh wow, we just, okay, we, we're, we're making the comeback. Down to the final few minutes here. This might be a jump in game. No, I think we, yeah, we got, okay, all right. We're going to game seven. Bull Bull with 30, 15, and 18, man. Tendencies will take you far and away, man. He shot 12 for 29, so he did not play very efficient basketball, but having 18 assists in a potential elimination game is pretty impressive. And now it is time for game seven to see if Bull Bull can take his former team, the Raptors, which he was already here before, if he could take them to at least the semifinals, and we're going to do that. Wow, we just smoked them in all four quarters. Lonzo with 29 and 12. Oh my, is Lonzo and, and, and Bull Bull going to be the, the new duo? What, what do you call him? Lonzo Bull. That's fire. I, that's copyrighted. Don't 
I'll take that. Lonzo Bowl. I I I'm taking that one. Anyway, we have Detroit now. I'm assuming Kate Cunningham at this point is a super duper star, so this is going to be hard to deal with. Game one, Detroit. Game two, Detroit. Game three, we take. Game four, they take. No surprise there. And uh, wipe the side in five. Do they actually have Cade? They have Cade and Scoot. Oh, okay, yeah. No. There, there, there is. No and Chet. Dude, there is no way anyone's beating this team. How is anyone going to beat Chet Holgram, Scoot Henderson, and Cade Cunningham? There's just no chance. They should smoke everybody in the playoffs. They're going to win the championship easily. Wow. They, they lost two playoff games the whole run. Like, how is anyone going to stop this team? All right, let's check out player progression. Ugh, dude, where is Lonzo? Oh my. Why does everyone just keep leaving Bobo? Why is nobody nice to Bobo, man? He's such a great player. Why is everyone hating? I'm actually kind of hoping if we complete this next challenge, we get something that sends us to a different team because this team just seems dead in the water. So hopefully we can get him the hell out of here because that, that would be great. But we need a challenge that I can actually do, okay? I got kind of, I, I ended up matching up with a top 10 player in Connect 4. You can't blame me on that one. So um, let's see, Min win a mini game in Mario Party. Very capable of that one. I got this. All right, so I looked around for about 20 minutes to play someone online. Not one person is playing this game online, so we're going to play this mini game on the hardest difficulty. I am an all-time amazing button masher, and that is what this mini game is. And I want to see if the master CPU can take me down. Probably not, because I am a great button masher. So yeah, you just got to hit them down. Blah, 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 blah. You get the point. But I want to see if they, if they can beat me. I don't think they can. But yeah, this, this is our challenge. There's no way I lose. There's no... There's the... Yeah, there's the... Hey, you know what? You know what, Luigi? You put up a good... You put up a good fight! You put up a good fight, but you're not me, buddy, okay? Anyone out there as Mario Party? You know what? I could probably have gotten a flat five. I kind of slowed down there for a second, but I can get around a five. You could beat a five, then you're you're, you're, you're you're a supreme, very good Mario Party player, just a very good button masher. Let me know if you could do that. You guys may have saw that footage in a matter of, like, 30 seconds, but, like, that literally took me 20 minutes to try to get that all set up because nobody was online, I guess, maybe at 4 a.m., so I get it. But damn, not one person's playing Mario Party right now, but okay, increase all badges by one, so every single badge that I have will go up a tier. That's going to be big for boosting his overall up. So here we are over to Bulbo. We're going to go to the uh, quick edit and we're going to go all the way to his badges. I'm going to select all of them and I'm going to increase all by one. So now he has 81 badges and is a 95 overall. And so now he has every single badge in the game, but a lot of them are on bronze. But I mean, listen, as long as you have the badge, you have the badge and easy. And we got a lot of upgrades too. So a lot of badges he had that maybe were gold shooting badges now are going up to Hall of Fame. But let's see if that's enough for Bulbo to actually win a championship on this. I I'll call it a bad team. For this time being, it's a bad team compared to what I saw with Cade Cunningham and who else did they have? Scoot Henderson and Chad Olgram. Yeah, if we can't, you know, compete with that team, then we're, we're not good enough. And Bull Bull for the second time in his career is your MVP averaging 26, 13, and 7, shooting 47% from 355 from the field, man. He has become a absolute superstar at this point. Donald Sanders, Rookie of the Year. Keegan Murray, Sixth Man of the Year. Bull Bull, Defensive Player of the Year as well. All right, so those badges, that is what did it for him. Those badges. First team All-NBA, obviously. First team All-Defense. He might be the best player in the league right now. I mean, it's probably be close with some other guys while well, they have Giannis and Victor. But Bull Bull was good enough to make this team the first seed and the third best team in the league. Obviously, Detroit's probably better, just a lower seed than maybe Memphis or OKC. I don't know, but you know, we're, we're stacking up with, with the best teams in the league. Let's see the stats. Okay, so this guy Keegan Murray is giving us 20. Wait, did he win six man? Of the, he won six man of the Oh, we have the six man of the year on the team. Okay, that's actually pretty good. We got Fultz doing his thing. We got Duarte doing his thing. Eamon Thompson. I think we just picked him up, I believe. So um, you know what? Not a bad team at all. Let's see the rotation for before the playoffs. So we have eight guys we really trust, and I don't know about this guy conrad tyler but we got a very nice team and i guess this guy keegan murray's not playing six man anymore so you know okay cool is what it is well here we go we're going up against miami game one we take game two we take game three we take game four that's a sweet that might be our first sweep this entire video that <laughs> i think that actually might be well here we go game one we take game two they take game three okay, okay. game four okay two to two so we're gonna have a sim cast come on man get us back in the conference finals we know the matchup we're gonna have it's probably detroit there like <laughs> we're gonna have to go up against that stacked ass team and get our asses embarrassed but you know whatever we got we got to compete and try our best bro it's like playing the damn 2017 warriors everyone tried it didn't matter though well here we go game one we take game two we take game three okay they come on we gotta make this three one Oh my god, they're gonna come back on us, aren't they? Yep, of course. I, I had to go ahead and get hyped up and be like, oh my god, we might actually go to the finals. No, of course not. Why would I think we're gonna stop a team with two potential MVP candidates and a superstar? Like, why why did I think we were gonna come close? We don't have the team to be able to take this team down, and they are smoking us here, and uh, oh, you know what? We made it close. We, we might be able to take this to seven games, and we, we're kind of running away with it. If Detroit's not gonna score again, I'm gonna go ahead and... <sighs> Uh, nah, yeah, we'll take our win. Nah, up three with 10 seconds. We probably shoot free throws, get it over with. I'm not gonna buy into it. If it was like a one point game where we would shoot free throws and they can come back and do something, okay, that's a little different. But being up three, all we do is make one free throw. I'm not gonna sit here and just hop in for that. But game seven, coming up to the end here, man. Just give us a chance in the game. That's all we can ask for. 
tie game 50 seconds left to go to the finals okay i know y'all want to see this so we're gonna make it happen oh man how are we gonna take down this super team what is the game plan who is guarding Cade? who is guarding scoot what will bull bull do in big moments on offense and defense about to find out now scoot using that pick and roll scoot di oh good defense bull bull great defense to pick up the slack forever just let him go on that pick and roll like what in the 2k was that Bang! Bang! And Toronto takes a three-point lead with 37 seconds left. Just gotta get one stop, so Bubble gets the block and the pass. If we can just get the stop here again, we can get out of here and take our asses to the NBA Finals. Good defense on Bay. Bubble trying to stay on it. Oh, he got that little floater. It wasn't really like a floater. It was like a little push shot layup. Just inbound the ball with no problems. Don't let Kate steal it! Get the ball. Get the ball. Okay. Oh, my God. Why? Why does that happen? All right, man. Please knock down free throws. You got... No, bro. No, bro. There's no way we're going to smoke this game. Okay, we made one at least. Dude, if we somehow get game winnered by Cade Cunningham from three or just some crazy nonsense, bro, he might get a layup on us. Oh! 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 oh, oh, oh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great defense, bro. That makes up for you missing the free throw. Thank you. Great defense, buddy. Come on, man. Just two free throws and we're going to the NBA Finals. Okay, that's one. One more free throw, baby. Take us to the NBA Finals. And he greens it. No timeouts for Detroit. We'll keep watching it because they could get some cheesy ass three. I, I don't know. That's not going in. Okay, this is over. Wow, Bobo. With a triple double in game seven against this literal super team. Oh, wait. They don't have. um, What's his face anymore? Oh, they. Oh, okay. That's a big. Okay. Them not having Chet Olgram is a big difference. But they still have Scoot and Cade. So it's it definitely still a great team. But man, he showed up big in that. We're playing the Grizzlies. Let's see who they got. The Grizzlies have LaMelo, Lively, Keontae George. They got some nice depth and they got LaMelo. So we'll see what we can do against them here we go game one grizzlies game two we take game three we take game four okay oh come on we gotta take game five here <sighs> okay another tough battle we're gonna have to win two straight man i don't know if we're home or not uh i think we're the we were the first seed right so we should be home it depends on the records and all that but we take care of business here murray with 27 bull bull a very underwhelming game but it was enough for us to get ourselves to a game seven so i don't care yeah I th okay so the grizzlies are home for this game seven man it comes down to this bull bull you have to you know you, you've been great statistically all game sevens every single time we've had to play a game seven so just keep it up could this be a hop into game could this be a constant game are we just gonna win it are we just gonna win the championship is bull bull gonna get his second championship and yes he is oh my god bull bull in game seven with 29 18 and 8 five blocks four for eight from three 10 for 18 from the field bro wow what a good game and the raptors are your nba champions bull bull finals mvp which means now 20 dollars is added to the pot to give away on twitter so if you want to be a part of that with I, I do it with every single simulation video i do so if you want to be a part of those go follow me on twitter all that fun stuff links in the description but um yeah man this is uh you know we're winning some championships man it's great to see all right here's player progression bull bull somehow going up and overall well, he was a 95, so I guess he went down one, actually. Technically, the man is 31 years old. What a journey it's been so far, and we still have so much more to go. The Miracle Wheel can do wonders for us, and this team is an absolute dumpster fire. So, um, I don't know how Bobo made this team win a championship. I really don't. I mean, we probably had a piece or two that definitely helped that guy Um, that was an 86. He's gone now, but, man, Bobo, that was a great championship ring right there, man. Let's actually count what season this is. Let me go ahead and go over to his career stats. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, this is going to be season 11 for Bobo's career. Okay. Let's see what our challenge is next. We did, had a little bit of a cold streak there. Won the Mario Party mini game, kind of by default because I'm a butt mashing god. So, you know, it just kind of is what it is there. And of course, I have to spend money. Pull a dark matter in one of three my team packs. Hopefully, those cheese packs are there. You guys know how I love those. So, hopefully, those are there. All right, so they don't have the cheese packs. <laughs> Very unfortunate. But I mean, there's still a chance to pull a lot of dark matters here. And the odds of pulling a dark matter are 3%. Okay, we're in for a tough one here. And I got to buy a VC. That's the worst part of it. Well, here we go. First pack, hoping for a dark matter. I think these packs are new. I think these just came out um, the day I'm recording this or maybe the day before. But so far. We got ourselves an emerald. That is pretty much, I just spent like um, five bucks for uh, an emerald. That's pretty, that's pretty cool stuff. I feel like in Madden packs, like you, like even if you spend 10 bucks on Madden, like there's so much more stuff you can get with 2K, bro. It's so up and down. Like, look at this, bro. You could spend 10 bucks and literally make nothing back. With Madden, I feel like you could put 10 bucks in the game and like you can get like a serviceable amount back. But here is the third and final pack so far, two emeralds. Let's see if I ended up wasting $10 here. 
Wow, that is insane. So not only did I just not even like get a dark matter, which understandable, 3% chance. I didn't even get a player better than an emerald. That is insane. Now look at this, I could have pulled pink diamond pal. I could have pulled an opal here. Like there were so many options, just never came close. But anyway, it looks like we're not spinning the miracle wheel. So we're just gonna simulate the season again. I mean, not that really bull bull, I mean, he needs it. We wanna make him a 99, of course, but you know, his growth has been great. He's been, turned out to be a superstar. He's won two MVP. So, you know, he, he's gonna keep playing amazing. It's just really the team success because we're on such a bad team. Okay, and Mikey Williams is the MVP. This man was literally six man of the year like three years ago. Now he's winning MVPs. Okay, rookie of the year, Lewis Snow. Six man of the year, Anthony Black. We got defensive player of the year, Kwame Evans Jr. Most improved, Alan Connor. And coach of the year, Lucas Lucas. Nice. Your parents were uh, really thinking on that one. And Bull Bull is first team all NBA. That's good to see. Probably first team all defense as well, if I have to assume. Yep, okay. And this team is the ninth seed. This is a very bad basketball team outside of Bull Bull, so I'm not really surprised here. So we're going to have to fight our way out of the playing tournament, and we probably can. We got Bull Bull. He, he single handed could probably carry us there but i mean even if we get out we got no shot of beating anybody just of how bad this team really is now we gotta play brooklyn for the eighth seed like you know uh, yeah listen the, the win's nice just to make the playoffs but it's not really gonna matter as far as playoff contention because that is we, we are far from that and I, i'm not hopping into a uh, i'm not hopping into a playing game we lose the game we lose the game <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not hopping into that so it looks like no playoffs for us not surprised let's see the stats here bull bull with a with a solid year just not as crazy as his, as his previous year sorry i mean look at look at the three-point percentage he shot 38% from three this year when he shot 47 the year before. Again, that's just a team around. It doesn't really have the pieces like that. We picked up a few nice guys, Eamon Thompson here, uh, Kevin Porter Jr. We picked up as well, I think, or maybe he was on the team at the beginning. I can't tell, but yeah, this team's pretty ugly. I'm not going to lie. Let's go ahead and see what these playoffs. Bull Bull still has plenty of years left, especially with having the Miracle Will behind him. So um, we will definitely have more than opportunities to get him on a good team potentially, or even just, you know, become so damn OP that he just went the championship on his own again, like he did the year before. Wasn't alone, but you get the point. Grizzly won the championship. LaMelo getting his ring. Good for him. Let's check out player progression. Oh my god! <laughs> <coughs> 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 Oh, so we're serious now. We're, we're not messing around. Okay, well, we picked up Cade. The Raptors said, we're done messing. This might be the best, like, off-season pickup I've seen a team do in a simulation in a long-ass time. Picking up Cade Cunningham for a team is insane. We are instant contenders. Bull Bull's here for four years. Cade's here for three years. Oh, my God. This team is going to be ridiculous, bro. We're going to win a championship. Well, here we are for season number 12, and one of the greatest duos of all time, Cade Cunningham and Bull Bull, are on their way to potentially winning a championship the season and hopefully they make a trade or two to get themselves some depth or maybe even just a better point guard overall i don't know i really know how good this guy is he's not bad but we'd like someone just a little bit better this guy's a rookie okay an 80 overall rookie what the what the hell or maybe he just hasn't played yet that might be what it is i don't know but let's see what our next challenge is hopefully not pulling a dark matter i mean we already landed on so it's gonna be gone but something not as ridiculously odds worthy as that and we're doing random cpu play down game jump ball how fun is that so here's how this works i'm rooting for the team on the left i'm gonna randomize both sides and whichever team if the team i'm supporting wins the jump ball then i win the challenge so here we go randomize please give me a team with a great center who can get jump balls very well and it is mb that is okay we got okay that is a great start and let's see who we're going up against give me like a really small center someone who's not very good sadiq bay from the rising stars wow that's interesting <laughs> okay we should win this jump ball i swear to god if mb loses this jump ball versus sadiq bay i'm going to lose my mind there's just no way. There's just no way you lost that jump ball to Sadiq Bay, bro. There's just no way. That 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 is insane. That that is that's psychotic, bro. Okay, we'll take our loss on the chest. That that's insane. I actually can't believe we really lost that jump ball, bro. Like, how much taller is MB than Sadiq Bay? Like six or seven inches? Like, and he's obviously an actual center. Like, I don't know, man. I don't know. And like 20 overalls higher. These, these things I thought actually matter. I mean, jump ball, I know when you when you do it, like when you actually play online for someone, it's when like the ref throws the ball up when you like right before he throws it up, you have to click triangle, but it's it's CPUs. Like what? It's supposed to be just random, and Embiid's supposed to have the severe advantage. All right, an Omaha beat. Is this guy a real player? Is he 2024? He might be. He might be in that 2024 draft class. Okay, I don't know who he is, but anyway, he averaged 30 points a game, so good for him. Rookie of the year, Lamar Flores. Sixth man of the year, Mikey Williams. Defensive player of the year, Kwame Evans Jr. Most improved, AC Thomas. And coach of the year, Lucas Lucas again. Bobo on that first team. Where's our, where's our guy, Cade? Cade, you gotta be on like second team or something. Okay, he's on third team. And we went from being in the playing tournament without Cade to now the third seed with Cade. No surprise there. Let's check out the stats. Cade dropping 29. 
29, 7, and 6. Bull Bull giving us 23, 11, and 6. Yeah, man. I mean, that, those two guys alone should be able to get it done for us. Let's see our uh, actual rotation to see if we've got some depth on this lineup. I don't know. Uh, did we? No, it looks like the same exact team. Yeah, okay. We didn't really do anything um, during the season as far as training goes. But, you know, oh, wait. Didn't we have, like, what's it? Didn't we have a rookie center or something like that? Or, or oh, wait. Or is it this guy right here? Back. Okay, it's this guy right here. He's just, he's backing up now. So we pick up this guy, Wilcox. Okay, my bad. Well, here we go. We're playing Charlotte in the first round. Game one, we take. Game two, they take. Game three, they take. Wow, wow. This is a great start to the dynasty. Okay. If we're going to start out the, the dynamic duo of Bull Bull and K just get bounced in the first round, that's, that's not really a good sight to uh, start out with. We're going to be like freaking uh, Miami in the first year, um, you know, big three era, all that kind of stuff. At least they got to the finals. Though. We're not even going to get out of the first round. K with 35, 8, and 2. So maybe I guess this, this little duo is not going to work out how we thought. They have Sexton, Adrian Griffin Jr. Okay, they, they got Ant. Okay, I mean, but still, we, we, eh, this team is not even that deep. And we're, we're actually, they got a few 80s, but yeah, we're, we're better. I guess we're not better. Never mind, because we lost. So I don't, I don't, I don't even know what I'm talking about. And the Thunder win the championship. A shy finals MVP averaging 34 and 11. Holy shit. All right, here's player progression. We still have the dynamic duo. Bull Bulls, 33 years old. We got this guy, Eamon Thompson, getting better. That's cool to see. How about that center, Baxter? Okay, he's up to an 81 overall now. So maybe that guy can get better. But we really need the Miracle Bull to come through. We've, had, we've already had two straight without getting it. So we got to get it and make Bull Bull better just so we can, you know, increase our odds at winning the championship. He needs to become like a 96, 97 overall right now. That'd be nice. Or maybe get traded to a different team. That'd be great too. I mean, I, listen, I like Kane and all, but we just don't have that much depth on this team. But let's go ahead and see what our next challenge is. Hopefully something, if it's random, you know, hopefully favor towards me. And if it's skill, hopefully something I'm good at. First score played out online. I'm good at that. We can do it. I'm usually pretty, yeah, you know, especially if you win the jump ball, you just throw across court, you know, you get your bucket that way. All right, again, it really does come down, down to the jump ball and then Bam just gets down the court really quickly. So hopefully I win it. Bam, go. Okay, Bam didn't go. I could have maybe got that. I'm going to be patient here. Get a shot that I want. There it is. Back out to Duncan. Duncan, you better make it, baby. Make a shot in your life. Thank you. All right, if you're not going to make it in real life, at least make it in the virtual game. We scored first. We're getting ours. I'm going to get out of here and give this guy his win. You're welcome. Anyway, let's see what the Miracle Will is going to bless us with here. Please be something as far as attribute goes. And we got all physical attributes max. That is is very nice because there is some loopholes with that one because you may you'll understand so when i mean all physical attributes i mean everything about the player physically being brought to the max so that includes the man's height weight okay you, you, you see where i'm going here so now bull bull is 77 350 pounds that also includes speed and acceleration everything oh oh, oh what just what just happened there i don't even know my whole game just tapped out there what the hell as i was saying that includes speed and acceleration that also includes strength vertical stamina and i think the last one here that makes sense to do is lateral quickness that's probably the only one the one other one that requires physical so it's physical and also defense but you know lateral quickness how fast you move left and right so you know what the hell lateral quickness up to a 99 as well so now bull bull is a 98 overall man that is one of the cheesier ones that's a new one i added onto the wheel as well because i didn't really have any i had you know increase um your defensive stats your passing your shooting uh rebounding all that stuff but i didn't have anything about physical attributes so i wanted to include that and this was one of the cheesy ones we landed on so we got really lucky here with the miracle wheel but let's go ahead and simulate the season and see if giving all those physical attributes up was enough for him to win a championship all right and omaha won the mvp yet again rookie of the year steven nixon six man of the year norm price defensive player. I'm surprised Bull Bull didn't win it with his new acquired 350 pounds and 7-7 hype, but you know, it is what it is. Bull Bull did make first team though. Where is our guy Cade Cunningham? He didn't make an NBA team. That's, that's disgusting, bro. And the Raptors are the fourth seed, so we're still well in contention. We're just, you know, <laughs> the team's just not that good. Let's check out our stats. So, Bull Bull is averaging 24, 11, and 8. So, you know, that strength increased the physical attributes, everything like that. Didn't really do too much for him as far as his stats go and really team success in general. But if we get in these close games, that stuff is going to matter for sure. So, hopefully, we get in some close games deep into the playoffs. And we got Indiana in the first round. Here we go. Game one, we take. Game two, they take. Game three, they take. Game four. Okay, well, you know what? Never mind all that. Okay, at least we're going to get a sim cast. Man, I don't know the last time we just went on like an easy run run to at least the conference finals. I think it was when we were in Phoenix. Oh, wait, didn't we win a championship with Toronto? We won a championship with Toronto, but I don't remember that run being an easy run, though. That felt like it was difficult, but anyway, we're going to go to a game seven. Bobo with 25, 12, and 8, all 7-7, seven, seven, 350 of them doing his thing. If we could just at least get out of the first round with two of, like, probably the 10 best players in the league right now, that would be pretty cool. I feel like freaking Kyrie and KD right now on the Nets, although I don't think Kyrie's a top 10 player in the league, but you get the point, but um, wow, we're actually going to lose game seven. Kate had 30, 10, and 6. Bobo at 23. Who do they have? Oh, this, they have this guy, Anthony Black. He's pretty good. He always ends up being cheesy. He doesn't end up usually being a high overall, but he always puts up great numbers. So I guess we'll simulate the playoffs once again. And the Cavs are the champions. Omaha, Bilu, the finals MVP. Play. P play. P 
pee. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I've been talking for a while this video, and sometimes I tend to lose my voice toward the end, but, you know, we're doing our best. Player retirements. Damn, this whole era is gone. Porzingis, Booker, Mitchell Robinson, Mikhail Bridges. Wow, that's tough. All right, here's player progression. Bull Bull up to a 98 overall. He was already 98 when he, you know, increased all of his uh, physical attributes, but um, Kate's still a 97, bro. We actually got some depth here. This guy, Baxter's an 82. This guy, Robertson's an 81. I mean, that really is only our starting lineup. So, yeah, sometimes when you look at lineups, I forget, like, the first five is actually only your starting lineup, and we don't really have as much depth as you thought. This team's still pretty nasty outside of our top two guys. I mean, we got this guy, Thompson. He's not bad. He just doesn't put up crazy numbers like that, though. That's really the only thing. I'm not sure how much better we can make Bobo to compete for championships. Like, we, we would have to make him 99 maxed out, like, for him to win a championship with this damn team. So, let's hope this next challenge is easy and we get that opportunity. All right, what do we got here? Again, if you have any challenge ideas or stuff to be added to the Miracle Wheel, comment it below. I take every, you know, I read most of the comments so I can see what you guys have added. That's how I reinvent the challenge wheel. You guys give me a bunch of new ones and I add them onto the challenge wheel. That funny one with the check the time one, like, there, there were a bunch you guys added. So, um, what do we got now? Place top three in Mario Kart. Sick. Let's go, man. All right, well, here we go. A classic map from the Wii, Coconut Mall, but let's see if I can actually pull together to win this. A lot of Waluigi's on. Oh, uh, I went down the wrong stairs. I'm all, I, I gotta stop talking. I gotta focus. Okay, let's get this double box. All right, not starting off too bad. I'm in fourth place. Just gotta keep my ground and just stay between, you know, four and six, and then on that last lap, really make a push for top three. But this is going as well as I could possibly ask for right now. Oh, that's... Okay, right when I had, I had to say something. Oh, that is so unlucky. This is why I need to put Mario Kart under luck challenge because this is what I'm, this is, this is, oh, this is, oh, I hate this game. I, I really hate this game. Come on, give me the double. All right. What do we got? Oh, King Mushroom. That helps out a lot. Okay. Thank you for that. Come on, come on. I need, I need to use the star. I need to use the star. Okay. There we go. All right. I'm, I, I've danced my way back to top five somehow. Just need to keep it close. Oh my God. I'm a dumbass. I got, I got to stop being bad at this game. Oh my God. A red shell. Oh. Yep, okay. That's gonna be my downfall. Uh, yeah, th that's absolutely gonna be my downfall. I need luck here. Bull Bill! Okay, that, that is a good stroke of luck. Please, just cruise by everybody. Okay, I'm top four. Oh my god. And I get hit by a PD Piranha. Listen, bro. There's just some Mario Kart games you just can't do much about, man. It just, uh, it's unlucky. Although, I, I, I'm definitely screwing this up right now. I'm not playing good. There's just sometimes you just get hit every single second and you end up losing. I just came in ninth place because of some bad driving, but also I got hit every 10 seconds. So, that's a loss on my book. So, now I guess we'll just simulate the season. Nothing to happen to Bulba. But again, he is still a 98 overall. Like, it's not like the Miracle Will isn't. It, it will make him better, but it's like, he's already pretty damn good. This man, Scoot Henderson. And still going crazy without Kate. MVP screwed again, averaging 37 and 10. Why can't Bull Bull do that? I mean, I kind of get it, but you know, it just, it'd be nice to see. Bull Bull's still making first teams, though. He's still balling. He's a 99 overall now, too. Okay, so he's officially hit 99 overall. That, um, that's the first time throughout this entire video. He's hit 99. And we are the first seed in the best team release. So either Bull Bull just went insane, or we actually made some pickups, or Cade went insane. One of those three. Let's see the stats. Okay, so Bull Bull's averaging 26 and 14. So he's playing great. Okay, this guy. Richard Butler is playing better. He's got 19. Wait, no. Okay. Oh, we, we traded for him and he's averaging 19 a game. Okay. So he's been a big reason for us. Let's see the rotation though. Okay. So we have a terrible small four, but at least we have some depth. We have, we have nine, eight guys. I don't trust, I don't trust Lou Dort right now, but eight guys we can really trust on the produce in the playoffs. I'm not going to lie. We should probably win the championship with this team. This is a good enough team. We got two overwhelming superstars, two of the top five players in the league, and we have some depth, man. This, this should get it done. And of course, we have to go game six with the eight seed in the first round. Like, I don't understand. Like I like like 2k sim process. Oh man, they literally just flip a coin, bro. It's literally a coin flip. We have to go seven games with the eighth seed. Who is on this team? They have Cam Thomas, Julio Cardinal, Lewis Snow, Ty old Tyler Hero at this point, Keon Johnson. Like this team isn't touching us. Well, apparently it is because we have to go seven games with this damn team. If we lose to the Bulls in the first round with this stacked ass team, bro, like I don't even know what to say anymore. But fourth quarter coming up. Please take care of business. And we do. Okay, good. Cade with like we have two guys who could drop 40. They don't even have one guy who can give them 40. Maybe this guy Cardinal. I don't know. Okay. Maybe this guy Snow can. But other than that, they, they have nobody else on this team who can give him 40. And now we have the Cavs in the second round. All right, here we go. Game one, take care of business. Game two, they take. Game three, they take. Game four. This is ridiculous. This is insane. Okay. Every single... I, I don't know the last time. I literally cannot recall the last time we've had a series that has been comfortable. One where we just went in five or we sweeped them or like whatever it may be. And we're going to lose here in the second round with this good ass team. Who is on Cleveland? Oh, this guy. Okay. All right. That makes sense. I won't... I, I won't argue this one and they actually have a solid team 
around and they got this guy oh they got evan mobley too like yeah you know what i get it our depth is a little better in this team so i don't know but yeah, this guy's been really good for a long time so you know i get it let's go to some of these playoffs so, so far bobo has got two ranks he's got some mvps he's got a defensive player of the year i think he has a six man of the year as well so he's got a pretty enticing resume from being you know i mean pretty much close to being out of the league so you know we've done a lot for him so far so you know let's, let's be let's be thankful all right here's player progression and our guide Cade cunningham left bobo is 35 years old in a 98 overall one of the best 35 year olds of all time so he's doing his thing but this team is just doo-doo dog water it's disgusting so um yeah we need to get the hell out of here hopefully the miracle will gives us something where we could choose the you know what team we go to because if we do that man we'll be in great hands wow this team is actually disgusting i mean we have a few nice 80s here and there but look at our starting five bro we have a 72 overall point guard a 72 overall small four bro like <laughs> this is a gross team let's hope whatever challenge we win here you know when we spin the miracle wheel it's something that just gets us out of toronto because this team has been a mess check the time odd okay is it an odd time oh it's an even time bro come on on man 532 man it's so sad okay well you know that was a fun one you know what are you what are you, what are you gonna do well i guess we'll just go ahead and simulate the season though but again the man's a 98 overall it's just we have no pieces around it but you know start off the season pretty well they're going four and two not bad all right and lamello is in how old is lamello at this point he's 34 years old winning mvps all right good for you man ricky caldwell six man of the year bull bull defensive pl oh my god averaging 31 13 and seven i mean it makes sense for just being on a horrific team that is easily his best season so far oh my god obviously gonna make first team and he doesn't really have a running mate with him so no one else is gonna be here and surprisingly he was able to carry this team to the third seed this sorry ass team somehow is a third seed i can't believe he dropped look at the next person in scoring 13 a game like there's some guys here averaging 10 that's cool and all but god he has no running mate man he's pulling up a master class of a season he averaged 31 a game shooting 55 percent from the field and 45 percent from three that is insane and 94 percent from the free throw line let's see the playoff rotation look at that we still have a 72 overall starting at point guard there is no way this team that we actually have some depth too it's really not that bad of a team we just don't have a second running mate and our starting point guard is terrible let's see if we can at least get out of the first round that'd be a nice little accomplishment this team getting out of the first round would be pretty cool one one okay down two one okay down three one and there you go yep of course i, I just had to get my hopes high bobo averaging 30 got my hopes high and um we're getting out of here and the bucks are the champions Kate. oh oh that's not that that that's messed up bro that's that's messed up no that's not even cool that's that as that as lame that is lame you're not nah, you're weird Cade really left us to go win a championship on his own bro that's that's insane but um okay well here's some more retirements but that was the last year on bubble's contract so we'll see if he stays in toronto probably will because they're probably not paying too many guys any actual valuable money because there really wasn't any good players so we'll see though all right player progression okay he did leave uh who do they end up paying they gave this guy kwame evans money oh that would have been a nice pairing actually not gonna lie but um okay he left and bobo took his talents to philly all right let's see who's on philly and bobo right now is the third best player in the league and a year ago he was the best all right here's player progression and this team sucks wow man what a nice time to be in philly if you didn't know new to the channel i am from philly i live in jersey now i moved to jersey about a few months ago just a little fun fact spin out there and i am a huge heat fan as you can tell from the stuff behind me with the bear and the jimmy butler jersey all that kind of stuff but um it, yeah man this, this team's a um this team's sad i got screwed on the check the time and the mario card is as random as it can get honestly like even you could try as good as you want bro it ain't gonna matter score touchdown on the first drive man at 22 i can do that that's easy cake bro you, you guys know me in madden bro i'm gonna lock in all right he's kicking it off to me where the bears you know i'm trying to pick relatively bad teams here so that you know we, you know kind of making an even playing field i would think i was the lions last time i did this challenge but let's get it all right this, I, this either is cover one or it's cover three so i'll take my chances i maybe will have jimmy graham or Allen robinson so we'll see how we get i'm gonna push out here it's definitely cover three can fields make that throw we can all right starting off good already at midfield this is probably cover three again and if it is Allen robinson is gonna have a field day on this route it's actually man but i think i can still get it over the top and we do and we're gone yeah okay <laughs> bro i don't think i've ever lost this challenge like i am so good at it and uh we take care of business i'm really not that good at madden but i'm good enough to beat majority of people on play now online if that makes sense or at least score on them so um yeah man, i'm not i'm not really that good i'm not yeah but you get the point anyway let's see what the miracle will be sorry we'll be doing for bull bull today i mean i guess an attribute increase some badges whatever it may be unlock all defensive badges that's perfect that that is a-okay with us so bull bull 
already had 15 badges of defense, but not all of them are Hall of Fame and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, this is this is going to be good for him. It made Bobo go up one overall, and then I'll show you every single badge here. Well, okay, I don't know why that menu popped up, but yeah, so he has every single badge, Hall of Fame, and uh, he's up one overall. So, you know, I don't think this team is going to win shit, but we'll see. All right, and Bobo has found himself into an MVP. I mean, these numbers aren't really good compared to what he's been doing for the most of his career. It's pretty average for his sake, but still 24, 13, and 7. You know, we'll take that. And he also won Defensive Player of the Year. Wow, he's, he's just kind of doing his thing in Philly right now. Ended the third seed, so I mean, we're, we're pretty good. Obviously, made first team all NBA and first team all defense. And as I said before, Bobo's been doing a very good job in these last like four or five seasons of just carrying bad teams to the playoffs. Like it was earlier on when he was actually like still really good. He wasn't really carrying teams to the playoffs. Like he really needed help. But now he's just been kind of carrying. So maybe the league's gotten watered down or whatever it may be, but Bobo's doing his thing. Unless they made a pickup. Well, they didn't really get anyone who's noteworthy. And if they did, I mean, it's just not noticeable. So yeah, I'd be shocked if they get out of the first round, but you never know. Game one, we take. Game two, we take. Game three, we take. Game four, okay, they take. Game five. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is reverse psychology. I got to stop hyping up Bobo. I got to just say he sucks. Yeah, okay. So for Chicago, they're going to be ass. They're not going to, you know, they're not going to win a game. Okay, they won one game. That's nothing. Okay, they won two games. You know, it just is what it is. Okay, they won three. That's nothing at all. Okay, <laughs> yeah, whatever. That was a fluke run. Oh, Milwaukee, they're going to crush them, bro. They probably still have Giannis, like, you know, prime Giannis. They probably got, they probably, uh, uh, they got Kareem on the team, Lou Alcindor, you know what I'm saying? So they're probably going to crush them here. No chance. Game one, yeah, exactly. Milwaukee's going to win game two. They're going to win exactly. And then, oh, wow, I feel like she won a game. That's surprising. 3-1. And then, okay, well, you know what? It worked out for two series. We got to the conference finals with that method. So I, I ain't going to complain at it. And the Bucks are the NBA champions. Oh, oh, this, okay, yeah. This guy only averaged 19 a game in the finals and he won the championship. What do you average uh, in the season? Okay, I can't check from there. Wow, you left. Uh, that's how you won the championship. You joined a literal, like, three time MVP. P, you asshole. Okay, all right, I got you, my bad. All right, player progression. Bobo down to a 95 overall now. The man's 37 years old, so there's really, you know, no surprise there. We got nothing going for it. Like, like if Bobo's gonna, like, that's the problem with kind of, like, LeBron Cleveland years because he would carry that bum team to, like, the finals and the playoffs, all that kind of stuff early on in his Cleveland years, but they were so good, they couldn't get any young guys to really help him because they were so good. They're so early, so, and they just didn't do, do a good job getting him stars, and 2K's obviously not gonna do that either, so we're kind of stuck with this weak-ass team. And here's our rotation. Yeah, this team is just yeah, this team's gross. We, we, we have two other 80 overalls on the team. Like, <laughs> that's so bad. At least we can have some fun with the Miracle Wheel. You know, you know, we may, you know, go down, you know, swinging, doing our thing, just barely making the playoffs and doing that kind of thing and win a game of clutch time my team. I'm going to skip that one because that is a five-minute game and we're kind of on the brink end of his career. So, you know, let's do like kind of the quick clean stuff. Win an online fight in Smash Bros. I'll give you all that one. That's fine. Um, So apparently we're fighting two other people and not a 1v1. So this is going to be, uh, it's going to be rough. But I will do my best, I guess. Okay, that guy over there is not even moving. Like, yeah, like, can you, like, play the game, dude? Like, play the game. Oh, God. Okay, Dark Hole. Not going in that. I feel like these guys are not very good. I feel like I have a chance in this. I'm not going to lie. Okay. There we go. If I could just kill Sonic here. Oh, okay. Not lagging anymore. There we go. Oh, nice. Okay, got to kill. Oh, I got to get in the pod. None of us got in the pod. We're going to die. Oh, yeah. Okay, I died. I gotta survive 30 more seconds somehow. He just killed himself, and I got the point for it. Yeah, so if I just survive 30 more seconds without dying, I, I think I have this win in the bag. Because I only died once, and I have three kills. 15 seconds, just playing it smart. Just playing it. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm 100% gonna Oh, I gotta get in the pod. Oh, he whacked me out of the pod, and I just died. But it was Sonic who got a kill. So I think either this is gonna go sudden death, or I'm gonna win it. I don't know which one it is. Did Ness just die? Oh, he almost died. What is it? Who won? Oh, I won. All right, let's go. Here. Right, Mushroom King. Oh, I'm stupid. Okay, so I did get the win. Let's see what the score was, though. I think I barely won. Let's see. So I had... Oh, I had a plus two. Ness went away, but okay, I won that pretty comfortably, actually. I had four kills. I thought I only had three. Okay, so that's what got me the win. All right, well, let's see what the Miracle Wheel can do for us. At this point, 37-year-old Bull Bull. I mean, you know, we would really need a Miracle here to really keep him intact. Plus three height. That doesn't really help us. That's kind of a... Yeah, I'm not going to do that because we're literally 7-7. Seven, seven. So we'll try We'll try another spin. I'll do one more if it ends up being ridiculous. Okay, plus 10 overall. Okay, we'll do that one. That, that, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, cool. So, obviously, Bulbul's a 95, so I can't make him on a 105 overall player. So, I'm just going to move this up 10 times. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Because he has some other attributes where they're not 99. So, you know, those went up as well. So, let's see how Bulbul looks. Is there anything that isn't a 99? Okay, his driving dunk's an 86. His post dunk's a 98. So, but most of his stats are relatively in the high 90s. His spew of ball probably went up big. So, that, that was actually really good for Bulbul there, getting that overall boost. But, um, yeah, I mean, looking very good. Wait, is he? 
easy. And, oh, right. We gave his physical attributes up 99. So, yeah, that makes sense as well. Okay. And Cameron Payne is the MVP. When I read that, <laughs> I was like, wait, what? Okay. Different Cameron Payne. He's the MVP. Rookie of the year. Monty Thomas. Uh, sixth man of the year. Luca. Wow. That is that is insane. Bobo, defensive player of the year. Averaging 24, 12, and 8. So, very similar numbers that he had last year. Jesse Freeman, most improved. And Vin Baker, coach of the year. Bobo still making first team, bro. I mean, I don't know how many years in a row he's made it, but we'll check all that, all that stuff at the end of his career. I mean, we're almost getting there. The man's 38 years old. And we're the fourth seed in the playoffs, man. I cannot believe Bull Bull is just willingly carrying this team to the playoffs every single season, man, because this team sucks. Like, look at these averages, like 15 a game, 15, 15. Like, these are cool numbers, but like, Jesus Christ, like, this, this is just sickening. I'd be shocked if they got out of the first round. Boston takes game one, Philly takes game two, Boston takes game three, Boston takes game four, and okay, at least we're gonna have a sim cast. I mean, he's 38, but we're gonna keep going. We gotta get every dose of content we possibly can for you guys and deliver as much entertainment and see how long Bobo can go with this whole career revival miracle wheel nonsense. Not nonsense, but you know what I mean. Uh, all in a good, fun time. And uh, looks like Philly is going to win it. You know what? I guess it's kind of nonsense for him being 38 and 9 overall. Probably that's more so what, what I was attending that to. But um, at least we're going to a game seven. All right. Uh, I mean, Bobo, if you want to keep it close, that'd be nice. Maybe a little hopping game. I, I, like, I would like to see how you play in a close game. We, we haven't had a content game in a little while. So, um, okay. Or we'll just blow him out. That's cool, too. Bobo with a triple double. Uh, okay. I haven't seen that in a little while because we haven't really had any games to really look at like that because we were just getting our asses smoked or we smoked the other teams last year, but then the Bucks smoked us. And now we're playing the Bucks again with two former MVPs. Uh, he probably got one or two, but anyway, here we go. Game one, Milwaukee takes. Game two, Milwaukee takes. Game three, Milwaukee takes again. Okay, we got a game. Okay, we got two. At least we'll be bringing this to SimCast. And the Bucks are cooking us. Yeah, this, this is going to be wraps. Yeah, yeah, they got us. Bull Bull, you did your best, bro. But again, you're not working with much. And they literally have two MVP candidates on one team. So, you know, nothing we can do there. But you know what? This is the last year he's going to be in Philly potentially because he has one year left on his contract. So we could be out of here. We don't know. Player retirement is Trey Young gone, Luka gone, Zion gone. Is anyone retiring at a super high overall? Like, yeah, no one's going to retire when they're a 99. Like, yeah, it's probably not going to happen. All right, player progression. And they went and got LaMelo, but Bobo Bo is gone. So Bobo Bo is now a Boston Celtic, and he's still a 9-0 overall on a one-year deal. This is insane. Let's see if this team's actually... Oh! <gasps> the reunitement! The reunitement of Bronny and Bobo Bo with the Sun so stupidly took us away from. Okay, we actually have a chance to win a championship. So here we go. Year number 19, I think it's gonna be. When we hit start season, it'll be year number 19. And, um, wow, man. What a journey it has been. We'll see if Bobo Bo can win. When did LeBron... He won two years ago. What year did he win the championship? Is he year 19 right now? He's going to be year 20 on um, the next season. So he won it year 17 or 18, whichever one he won. I think it's 17 he won his championship. So we're seeing if we can win a championship year 19. But we still got that challenge with a spin. I don't know how much better Bull Bull can really get. And I don't really want to move into a different team. I like the situation we're in. I, I really like what we got. And we're going to be rolling a die, even number. All right, three, two, one, roll. Give us an even number. And we got a five. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and sim. All right, that's great. All right, and Bull Bull got himself another MVP. I don't know how many that is, but we're going to go over all that at the end of the video. So 24, 11, and 8, 52% from the field. 44% from three. Just put up great numbers. Probably also won defensive player of the year. Yep, there it is again. And Bronny James and Bull Bull are on the first team. And they, they are the first team. They're the best team in basketball. So, yeah, we should win a championship with this team. Again, if you just have a one-two punch uh, this far into the career sim, then you're going to be that guy. What did Bronny do? Bronny averaged 28, 5, and 8. I'm not going to lie. He maybe should have won the MVP. I'm not going to lie. But uh, we have some okay depth. Nothing crazy, but should be good enough to win. Well, here we go. Watch watch, we just, watch us just lose in the first round versus Charlotte. Just, just go ahead and watch that. Here we go. Game one, we take. Game two, we take. Game three we take a sweep well i don't i don't know the last time i okay like look, we're, we're gonna sim one more game okay yeah we're just gonna win a six i don't know the last time we simulated a season we went to the playoffs and we swept around i, I maybe like 10 years ago like i have no idea we have not gotten a sweep in so long can we get it right now of course not just 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 can't can never get the sweep and now we have the bucks the traitor Cade cunningham we got to take them down game one we take game two they take game three they take game four okay it's gonna be a close series as we thought and we're up three two now this one we will sim cast because it's not as ridiculous Ridiculous as going six with the eight two when we have two of the best players in the league. So, you know, down to the fourth quarter, we're taking care of business. It's still relatively. No, we just went on a big run there in that fourth quarter, and uh, that is going to do it. We're going to the finals. Bull Bull with a 30 point triple double, man. He always shows up for elimination games. He always plays big. Or, you know, if we're going on or we're about to lose, like, he always plays big. And now we have the Trail Blazers in the finals. Let's see who they got. All right, they got Donnie Saunders. I, mean, I think all these players at this point are fake, but, um, I mean, this team's not really that good compared to us. Here we go. Game one, we take. Game two, they take. Take game three. Oh. 
like, bro. Like, oh, okay. Two. I, I understand they're, they're a finals team. Really? I understand they're a finals team. I got it. But, like, can we just, can we stop? We literally have a 99 overall on the damn team. Like, I don't understand how we're just not smoking everybody. And we're going to a game seven in the finals. Bronny with 27. Bobo with only 18. Gotta play better than that, man. And again, this team is just not good compared to us. Come on, Boston. Give Bobo his third championship ring so we can go ahead and add 10 more dollars to that pot to give away on Twitter. And we are coming up to the fourth quarter. This might be a content game. Unless Portland just gonna run away with it here. We got 45 seconds left and we're up three. All right, let's hop in. And Portland has the ball. So we just gotta get a stop, get to the line, make some free throws and call it a night. Play some defense. I mean, I don't know who's good. I don't know who can shoot on their team. I mean, that's a wide open mid range. Let's not give them that. Bull Bull has been usually very good. I mean, he's 7'7", 350 pounds. So we should probably get him the basketball and he can also handle the ball and shoot a deep three. There you go. Get him to it in the paint. Like, who the hell is going to guard that? <laughs> no one's guarding that. Again, as long as we don't give up any threes, I don't really know if anyone on the court can shoot. But, you know, it's best to play it safe and not give them up in the first place. Going off the screen. That's a bad shot. Okay, rebound. That's game. Uh, uh, what are you doing? What what was that? Bobo, like, are you okay? So now, <laughs> because Bobo wants to turn the ball over for no reason, we got to make two free throws, and they don't have to hit a three. For the love of God. Oh, God, that's an ugly free throw. At least it went in. Just please make them both. All right, and they have no timeout, so they're going to go down the court. This guy Saunders has an ugly form. Wow, he's just going to pull that contested ass three. Now, Bobo. Hold, okay, all right. That's a fine pass, and we're going to be three time NBA champions, man. Beautiful, man. It, it, it's, it brings a tear, a, a fake tear to my eye to see what Bobo has become from being a 71 overall, potentially out of the league, to now a three-time champion, a Hall of Famer, an MVP, a Defensive Player of the Year, just an all-around superstar, one of the greatest NBA players of all time. What what a career it has been, man. As for the stats, Bronny with 28, Bobo with a pretty underwhelming Game 7, honestly, compared to most of the Game 7s we've seen him have in his career, so, you know, is what it is. Boston is your NBA champions. Bobo Finals MVP averaging 29 and 7, doing his thing. Here's some player retirements. Bobo still not calling it a career yet, man. He 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 is hey, he has some unfinished business. All right, here's player progression, and Bobo is gone. He only had one year left in his contract, and Bronny James gets a new partner in crime campaign. So good for him. And let's see where Bobo is. He is on the Warriors on a one-year deal. He's just gonna keep taking these one-year deals until he retires, isn't he? That's probably what's gonna happen. Let's see how this team looks. Okay, they're not bad. Bobo's good enough to carry this team to the playoffs, but as far as any playoff contention and winning, eh, I don't know. I don't know about that. We are in Bobo's 20th season. Wow, man. What a road it has been. And could he cap it off with another ring? I don't know. Forgot to mention, there's now $30 in the pot to give away on Twitter. So again, if you want to be involved in that when I ever do simulation videos, then, you know, be sure to follow the Twitter. All that fun stuff. But let's go ahead and go back to the challenge wheel. Let's go ahead and see what we got here. If it's something that's a long challenge, we're not going to do it because, again, the man's like 40 years old at this point. Like, we're, you know what I mean? We're trying to, you know, keep it going quick as quickly as we can. And we have random NBA player odd jersey number. That's a fun one. All right. So I'm going to click this generate button on the random NBA player generate. And if the player has an odd number on his jersey, then we go ahead and spin the miracle wheel. Here we go. Three, two, one, generate. And we got Willie Coley Stein. Okay, so let's see what his jersey number currently is. I believe the last team he played for was the Sixers, and his number was a double zero. So that is an even number, which means we're not getting it. So he was on Dallas, I think, last year, or maybe earlier in the year, and he was 33, but I think the last team he was on is so I'm gonna double check it though. Yep, here it is. Basketball reference. He was number zero. Yep, okay, yeah, all right, yeah. That was the last team he was on. So, okay, no, no spin for us. All right, and Another MVP for Bobo. Is that three straight MVPs for Bobo averaging 27, 12, and 8? Man, I mean, again, he's still... He, what was he overall? He's a 98 overall, bro. So, yeah, he's still pretty damn good. But the team's success was certainly not there. They're the eighth seed, so we're going to fight in the playing tournament. And we're going up against the Kings. Now, I don't really have much insight on any of these teams anymore because every team should have um, fake players at this point. I mean, some will have some old players who were drafted, like, in 2021, 2020, that kind of action. But for the most part, going to be fake players. And so now we're the seventh seed, and we're going to play Minnesota. Okay. Let's see the stats of everyone else. So this guy, Lamar. Johnston's playing good, giving us 19. This guy Everett Houston's playing solid. We might have a chance here. If Bobo just goes absolutely insane, maybe we got a shot. Anyway, here we go. Game one, we take. Game two, we take. Game three, okay, they take. Are my hopes gonna be ran high for no reason? Yeah, okay. I don't even know why I got excited there. I, I know how 2K works. I know their algorithm. They just want to go ahead and just, you know, screw us over, screw Bobo, screw over, even though he won three championships, won a bunch of MVPs, defensive play of the year awards. So, you know, I'm happy with the outcome. Let's go ahead and simulate these playoffs and see who is the NBA champions. 
give me the Bucks. Okay, good. Yeah, we don't want we don't want K to that other guy winning the championship after them being traders. Spurs won the championship. Scoo Henderson being the Finals MVP. Let's see retirement. Bull Bull has finally decided to retire from the NBA. Wow, man. Can we all just give a round of applause for Bull Bull? Just you know, just everything, man. Just from the miracle wheel blessing him to him taking advantage of his opportunities and really becoming the player he is now, which is a Hall of Famer, an all-time great, probably one of the 20 best players in NBA history, maybe even higher. I don't know, man. But let's go ahead and look at his stats. What did he average for his career? He averaged 23 points, 11 rebounds, 6 assists, 2 blocks a game shooting, 52% from the field, and 43% from 3. So he went down as one of the greatest shooters of all time and just one of the best players of all time as well. As for his awards, a 5-time MVP. He won it twice in a row. I thought he won it 3 times in a row. I, I, I don't know. It, feels like he, it felt like he won it 3 times in a row. Anyway, 3-time NBA champion, 14-time All-Star, 1st-team All-NBA, 13-time, 2nd-team once, and Defensive Player of the Year 6 times, and he won it 5 times in a row toward the end of his career. And as you guys can see, Bobo right there inducted into the Hall of Fame along with Bayfall, LaMelo Ball, Scotty Barnes, and Tyrese Halliburton. That is awesome. And I'm not sure if he's going to be here for really any of these NBA records. He did play a long-ass time, so that really could get him there, but I mean, he's not going to be relatively high for points. He's 30th in points all time. Not bad. Field goals made. He's 31st. Three pointers made is going to be high up. He's probably going to be like top five, top 10. No, he's not top 10. Where is Bulbo for threes made? Bulbo's 54th on threes, man. I'm surprised. I thought it'd be a lot more, but making 3,000 threes in your career is pretty insane. Who, who's number one right now? Someone made, se Cade made 7,000 threes in his career. Curry right now in his career is at like 3,100 or something like that. Like, that is insane. Free throws made. Bulbo had a very high free throw percentage, but again, a lot of guys kind of do when you simulate like 20 years. So, okay, yeah, 27th in free throws made. So, okay, that's not bad. Rebounds. He didn't grab crazy amounts of rebounds, but he was. Was definitely consistent. Eighth rebounds all time. Okay, never mind. I don't know shit. Assist. He got a good amount of assists, but nothing over the top. If he were to be on this list, he'd probably be toward the end. And even if he, even if he was, like, it's not even really gonna matter. Yeah, I, I don't see him being here. He played a long time, but yeah, I doubt it. Never mind. He's right there at 37. Okay, well, I don't. Again, I don't know anything. Blocks. He's probably gonna be top five. I, I would assume he's top five blocks. Yep, he was literally fifth. There we go. Man, he was literally like a hundred behind Matumbo. He was ten behind Kareem. Like, he definitely could have got. Look at Chet Holcomb, top two all time. Here's some game highs. His career high was 50 field goals made was 19 three pointers made was nine in a game three pointers attempted was 16 free throws made 25 25 rebounds career high in a game 13 offensive rebounds in a game 17 assists in a game seven steals in a game nine blocks in a game and 42 minutes also a career high wow that, that, that is that is pretty damn good but anyway that is gonna do it for reviving bull bulls nba career with the miracle i hope you guys enjoyed let me know who you want to see next i got some big stuff planned again i'm working on that big video and a lot of the videos you guys are going to be seeing in the future the next three or four videos those videos are going to be recorded around now so i might be like like kind of a week late to some of the current NBA stuff going on. So, you know, I'm going to try to not mention current NBA events going on in those videos because it's just not going to make sense because you're going to be like, wait, that already happened like three, three, four days ago, bro. Why are you still talking about it? But, you know, not going to stay in tune like that. By the way, on the screen, I'm going to put all the cash at people who won their run their money. Congrats to you, whether I split it up in third um, by 10 or I did it by, you know, 15 and 15. Or I just gave one guy 30. Whatever I did, I did. So, you know, there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I'll see you guys in the next one. One finger, one pinky, one thumb, one love. I'm out. Peace. Fade the black. All of that and uh damn man what a ride for bubble that was that was pretty that was pretty crazy